Watch out. Attack while it's tails up, it's gonna counterattack us. No. <laughs> I think they changed that a little bit. It's got reinforced armor plating, but the internals can be overloaded. Lightning Use lightning. No other option, huh? Actually, I should probably switch then. That's the kind of the case. Make sure I get some ATB bar filled up, just like that. And then while that's happening. Oh shit. <laughs> oh damn. Oh, the music's so good. Oh, I have quick grenades. Ah, I have to charge that. I do like the idea that you gotta charge it. You can't just straight up use it. It's a good way to get a lot of ATB bar for... Uh... Oh, I don't have any MP. Shit. Aether. Oh, you don't have a lot of MP, just in general. Is that my ATB bar? That... No, okay, good. Actually, it looks like it might have been. Uh, Thunder. Nope, not spells. Um, and then his multiple times for really increase the stagger. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Ooh, wow, does it ever. Okay. At least I can get up there. Not a lot of damage, but... He's gonna use a super special. Yeah. Uh... And one more time. Oh, that's gonna hurt, isn't it? Oh, he's doing something big. Yep, holding on to that uh, <laughs> that guard button. Oh no, just second phase. Never seen this defense system. Nope, operator mode, please. Thought you would yet. So what's your friend? Oh, it does not do a lot of. Oh, he's blocking it. Oh, this is the um, he's kind of counterattack kind of thing. What if we're gonna get into limit break? Cause I, my limit thing is really down. Wow, yeah, so using an item uses um, he's blocking. Deal with that. Uh, I gotta heal up. If we don't change it up soon, this thing's gonna kill us both. Let's and another one on Cloud. Gotta keep my guys alive. Oops, wrong, sir. Sorry. So get used to it. Yeah, wow, it's really... Okay, so that's not working at all right now. Guarding that. Um. Oof. Jeez, oh, I really can't do much right now. He might be saying what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm not paying attention. Um. What's can I do? It's not that I can like activate around here or anything. No. You turn and tail on me, Mark. No. Oh shit. Oh damn, that was not smart of me. I'm waiting. Oh, that worked. I just need a big attack, I guess. Give it everything you've got. Excuse me, Ethers. I'm just in the demo, anyways. That hit from over there. Now I'm wondering. Yeah, we're fine. Good job, Block, guys. Damn. Gotta really pay attention when he's using things instead of being an idiot like I'm being right now. Get some big attacks on them. There we go. 
My limit break is almost up, which is good. Gotta heal up. So they got cross slash at this point of the game. Because it would be braver normally, but they've definitely changed that. Another ah, barrier? Shit. Uh deal with that. At least um focus shot and braver, they don't take MP at all. So ooh wow, that's a lot. Could keep going if I heal up. Guard. Yeah, bosses are gonna be much more involved. Be crazy. Uh, nah, not steel skin. Damn it, Phil. Running out of potions. Oh shit, here's a big one. I can't do anything during this mode. Do I go? No, I can't go into a command menu or anything. Oh, it's the cinematic part. Watch the tail. You don't want to be hit by that laser. Huh? So, what do we do? Don't get hit. Take cover behind that debris. Oh, God. Eh. Yeah, 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 there we go. <laughs> oh, good. Don't overdo it. Yeah, come on. Can I use... Good things during this part. Good. Strike now nice. before it fires again. You're up. Let's do this. Take the lead. All right. I keep accidentally up. changing sometimes. There, get some massive damage on him. Uh, focus thrust. There we go. Get that staggered up. It doesn't look like I'm gonna stagger him anyways. Oh, he's doing the things. Damn it. Uh Can you look at pauses for a second while um while you um switched characters, which makes sense. Gives you a second to kind of figure out what you're doing. Heads up! Already. Oh, I'm gonna wait this out. At least my charge is going. Go. So close. Oh, you gotta get close to them. Damn it. I've been so close to my limit break, by the way. <laughs> ah, damn. Wow, if you don't hit with it, it's gonna. It's gonna use up your uh, limit break. Uh, limit break. There we go. When the game's full, you can use your limit breaks for extremely. You do not need to use ATB bars. That's smart. That being said, Cloud is dead. So, uh, need one more attack. There we go. I no, not limit item. I need to heal first if I'm gonna do that. Let's go. Okay. All right. What we got? Cross slash. Oh, 100. But I can't see the damage half the time. <laughs> Which is a little frustrating, admittedly. Holy crap. Oh, man. Oh, hey, what's it doing now? An auto repair unit. Damn it. We gotta take it out quickly. Oh, I am way ahead of you, Bert. Come on. A couple more hits of. Oh, ah, shit. Oh, big shot it is. No, not steel suit. God damn it, Phil. Oh, you can take with the legs. Interesting. The whole you need an ATB bar to do anything is kind of interesting. Yeah. 
Ooh. There we go, blocking. Wow, blocking really does help. So maybe maybe actually do it. Don't overdo it. Take out the other leg now. Uh, shot. Oh, the right leg's back. Oh, there we go. No time to waste. Let's take it out quick. Bring it. This will be basically it. Let's do this. Hey, staggered. Nice. Staggers take our defense will take more damage. Using unique abilities on a stagger foe will clearly boost your ATB by gauge. Interesting. There we go. Done and done. <laughs> that could have been a lot smoother, but hey, I'm just playing for the first time. Oh, shit. But now it's Larry. Very cool. Very easy boss, too, so... There we go. Oh, got past Yoshi's Island, which is, uh... <laughs> normally a lot easier than all that. Oh, Wendy. She's already kind of random, to be honest. Okay. Um, I should mention this, by the way. The health of the bosses are random. I think I mentioned that. The difficulty of them are randomized. So she might have a lot more health. She's, like, she's already taken three hits, and she's not dead yet. Four hits, she ain't dead yet. Five hits. Is that five hits? That one, I don't know. I can only count to four. But at least that means that's the fortress of this world. Yeah. Oh my god! 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 Oh no 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 no. This is scary. And gotcha. Oh, land on something, Phil. Land on something. Oh, oh my god. Jeez. I need to just put the controller down for a second. <laughs> Yeah, Turtles 3, uh, Turtles 2 is barely, um, enough for a quickie. Or, not qu enough, but, like, almost too much for a quickie. So I didn't want to risk that. This is Rocksteady. It's pretty easy. Just shoots a couple times, maybe only once. And there we go. Only takes five hits. Yeah. Very easy. Turtle power. No, the, the, I like them, the, the movie just fine. The second one was pretty good. Hello. Hello, Bebop. Um, the second one was okay. It... It had Rocksteady and Bebop, which is one thing that none of the other movies can say, so good on it. And it's got some fun moments, but it had a lot of dumb things, too. Um, I don't think Brad Garrett did a good job as Krang at all, which is such a shame, because I really like Krang. But whatever, I still like the movie, so tell me your thoughts. Well, let's try to get the, the emulator working and stuff. And, uh, man, it, it did not go well. I died in the first stage right away. And... Alright, we got Baxter Stockman. I've never liked Baxter, Baxter Stockman. I don't know, bugs? I don't like bugs. So I was a kid, Baxter Stockman levels, and Stanley the Bugman, or whatever his name was, uh, lev or levels, episodes were like my least favorite. Oh, it's Shredder. Yeah. Shredder's pretty easy. You just teleports, hit him. Damn, don't be like me, though. Hit him. Damn it, that was really stupid of me. Good. Oh, wow, that went actually really well. Whew. Like, he's just gotta fall. He's like, oh, the turtles got me. That Krang. He's big, too. Like, that's a big sprite for the, uh, the Game Boy. Very careful. His jumps, his jump kicks are the worst thing. You want to hit him and get away from him because of those jump kicks. And then kind of just get around him. Or, like, <laughs> let him go away. And then jump kick. Nope. Okay, good. We should be fine. Come on. Come at me, bro. That was easy. That was actually really good. Probably one of my best crank fights, actually. Hooray! We did it! Ba ba ba, turtle power. Good timing. It's a leaf monster, I guess. He's not a super hard boss. I don't remember dying. Oh no, he's cute. Oh jeez, okay. Oh right, you need, he needs to not be uh, covered in leaves. 
He reminds me of, um, I don't know the name of the character. The, uh, it's the new Philadelphia Flyers mascot. Gritty. There we go. That's what he reminds me of. Pretty easy. I've got, um, shurikens too, don't I? Oops. Oh, triangle. Okay. Like that. I can't throw up, so it doesn't matter, I guess. But I want to get close to it anyways. It's not really good for bosses. Come on, throw it. Throw it. There we go. That was, yeah, that's easy. Yay! Great 8-bit fade out there. This is amazing. Well, projectiles. Oh, shit. Ah, jeez. Oh, no. I don't like that at all. I wonder, the thing is, I'm afraid to, like, stand on that little platform. Because I don't know if it's going to hurt me. Eh. Oh, nice. Oh, cool. Eh, 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 damn it. And then he goes back up. No, he does not. Okay. Ah, shit. Come on. Come on. Oh, shit. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's not good. Ugh. Whew. I like this. It's a cool idea for a boss. And that's when you really have to wail on him. Plus, I do like how he's got the... The bosses all have that cool, um... Like, old-school beat-em-up thing where, like, they start flashing as the closer they come to death. It's a cool idea. Well, got his pattern down. Shit. Ugh. And... Yeah, you can't get him up there. There's no uh, nothing to grab onto or climb with. Okay, shit. shit. Come back. I have fights for you. Eh, 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 eh. There we go. He doesn't seem to get faster with his shots either, though. Just kind of funny to think he would. There we go. Easy enough. Sorry, Ruxton. Dungeon Brawler. That's the trophy. Nope. You suck, Messenger. Worst game in the world. Oh, Kloopy's all excited now. She might see something outside. What a cool idea for a boss. I really like this one. Almost had him, too. Let's do this, guys. Lift it up. I like how the right one was first, so you really understand the timing. Okay. Oh, whoops. Oh, ah, shit. Way too, uh, way too late on that. Yeah, yeah, come on. Okay. You gotta press it again. I thought you just held it. How do, how do I go through all this time using a mechanic and then forgetting how to do it during a boss? Nope, not chancing that. Very good. Ah, come on, man. You're better than that. At least I think you are. Up. Okay. Shit. Three hits left. I should be fine. As long as I'm smart about it. Nope. Yeah, that's what killed me last time. Okay. This might be the end of it. I think I'm probably going to need one more after this, though. Okay. Yeah, he's just about dead. Yeah, we got this. It's a lot of pain, it looks like. Good. Oh, there he goes. Oh, I only had one hit left at that point. Woo! Oh. That probably would have killed me if I'd stayed there. Oh, shit, it's not done. Will those hit me? No. The oh. Those are a key. Oh, this is a great idea. Oh. Oh, wow, what a great boss. Whew. 
I love the idea of using the windsuit and the boss. Oh, nope. I'd rather just attack you. Oh, she can jump around. Oh, no. Ah. Don't like this. Can't attack the spores, it seems. Oh, shit. I could have used that to, you know, jump up there. God oh, damn. She's got a little bit of range on her. Come on. Yep, that's fine. Also fine. So there's a distinct pattern here. Nice. And whale. Oh, jeez. Oh my god. Got some tricks up her sleeves. Not just the whipping. Ah, here we go. Oh, two of them now. Okay. Nice. Not too hard so far. Stand up in the air, though. Damn, come on. Oh, she's way higher now. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that was close. She can't be that much. There we go. I Quill survive. Oh, she's got her own little quarble. At least they're just good into the fight. You know, you don't have to go through the whole uh, thing again. Who be leave her alone? Bella's so loud. She's like, oh my god, a dog is sniffing me for two seconds. Okay, good enough. God, I hate this one. Jeez. Okay, there we go. Whew. Yeah, maybe just get to a wall and get higher than him. It's really the only thing I can think of. Yeah, smash it, yeah, he throws it right at you. I think I basically got this now. Damn, that can't let that hit me. Whoa. Is he getting close to dead or something? Oh, that's close. Aw, oh, damn it, Phil. Come on, man. <laughs> Smarter than that. Yay, there we go. Oh, they were cool. I like them. Yeah, there we go. Wow, it was literally the next try, so I might not even uh, cut that. Hey, I did the thing! <laughs> hey guys, how's it gaming? I'm filling the blanks, so welcome back to Let's Play The Messenger. We are still fighting the Sky Dragon, because he's so cool looking. I don't know. <laughs> um, I had a little bit of trouble in the last episode, wasn't able to beat him, which is fine. Bosses are getting way harder, and way more health and stuff. But we'll beat him this time. Why? Because um, I actually took some time in between uh, this episode and the last episode to beat him in my own time so I can kind of get used to him a little bit more. And uh, you'll notice that's why the trophy won't pop when I uh, do finally beat him. Nice, that was good. Where are you gonna be? Okay, careful, I don't wanna fall off this thing. And nope, that's not okay. There we go, nice, that was really smooth. He just gets faster, basically, and uh, he does have this surprise thing where he'll take out a good chunk of the ground, which is not fun. You don't want him to use that. So anytime I can get him to not do that, please, I will, because it's very dangerous, because you basically have to use the fireballs to get to him. Oof, that's a lot. 
Uh, yeah, he's doing it. Oh my god, that's not okay. Take good, okay, phew. Thank god for shurikens. And they can only go through, like, two things before it stops, so I can't just do that and just... I have to time it fairly well, so... I only have one left, so hopefully I don't have to do that again. Ah, shit, didn't expect that. Oh, man. Oh, man, that's not good. And, damn it, see what I mean? Well, over... Got him. Oh, that was really good. That was really good, guys. <laughs> There we go. Holy crap. Hey, how's it gaming, guys? I'm filling the blanks. <laughs> More like dumb in general, not deem in general. I'm so glad the game makes bad jokes for me so I don't have to. My controls. Well, now that I know, knowing is half the battle, the other half is killing this bat. Very interesting. Yeah, so I can't defeat those bats. They're just there. Thank you. Give me a platform, please. Thank you very much. And I can just stay on top of you like this. Or I guess I can just stay on this thing. But well, whatever, it doesn't really matter. After a certain amount of hits, it's pretty clear that something else is going to be happening. Namely, these flowers. It'd be a cool boss. Come on, I got you this time. Nope. That sucks. Okay, well, I'm still good. It doesn't last too long. Oh, he also doesn't hurt me. I just noticed that. That's good. If I wait long enough, disappear. So who cares? Okay. Yep. And then I can just do this. Cheap but effective. I could use shurikens there too, but whatever. This is a really cool boss. It's not super difficult, but it's definitely interesting. Oh no. Okay, now it's dangerous. Nope. Okay. Just gonna wait this out right here. Don't yell at me again. No. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. Okay, cool. Whew! This is crazy. Where are you hidden? Oh, dang. We're getting smaller. Okay. Yeah, those lines are hard to see in the, uh, in the future. Oh, that was pretty easy, actually. That wasn't too bad. Yep. Oh, God. 
Oh jeez, he looks great. That looks like something out of Cuphead. Oh, this would be crazy. Probably just gonna go for the rapid fire. Really makes the most sense here. Oh, well that's that burnt down. Oh, each gun is its own thing, little cannon. Okay, one down. Two down. Three down. Not too bad. Oh! Oh, cool! Oh, that's a good idea. Back we are. Oh, this is awesome. Doesn't seem like it's going to be super difficult. I mean, I was bragging last episode how easy spaceship shooters are for me. No, watch me. We mess up, because they can be fairly difficult. One down. Oh, the back has a bit to it, too. There we go. They're going to add extra targets for me every phase, I guess. There we go. Thank you. Oh, he's starting to really <laughs> get messed up. I guess it makes sense that we fight him in the future, too. And all the um, shield generators and whatnot were all in the uh, future as well. Okay, I need to get on top of that. There we go. Um, which makes sense because all the, f the future tech would be, you know, in the future. Because we come from, in, in this game's present, where it's all still like ninja tech and all that. So I do like how they kind of do something with that. That's my first hit. That's not too bad, considering. Okay. Almost gone. Should be the last phase, I assume. And yes, there we go. That was actually a fairly easy boss. Though I imagine for people who don't like that type of game, to be thrown into a game like this could be very difficult. If I can. I mean, if I can't, I'm not going to force it. Come on. Give me something. Your rocket. There we go. I just gotta avoid his shots. It's kind of a cool idea. All right. Oh. Huh. Okay, and then you just get a bunch of hits on him on the way down. Oh, I can still get a couple hits on him. From the fireballs too, so that's pretty cool. Probably just not a feasible way of doing a lot of damage to him. Okay, rocket. This is a different idea for a boss. Ah oh, shit, that was dumb. Alright, care. Ah, oh, come on, Phil. Okay, there we go. Oh, he, he immediately just tries to get higher than you, which makes sense. There we go. But my shurikens come down and hit him a couple of times, which I love. That's super fun. <laughs> nice. Did we do it? Or is there a new form? Of course there's a new form. Oh, I'm not enjoying that. Oh, bleh. Jeez. What do those do? Oh, what the hell? Ah, holy crap. That's kind of cool. I can't hit them for anything, so I can't use them to fly. Or to cloud step in here. Alright. Interesting. And let's fly up again, I'm assuming? Nope. Well, yes, but... Oh! Doing it the other way. Oh, shit. Alright. Easy enough. Whew. It's kind of a cool idea. I beat it. That looked like the trophy to beat the game. So sunlight took him out. Really? Oof, down he goes. Cool idea for last boss, though. Weirdly easy. I find the little bosses like the demon general that fly around like crazy fast. Like, they're that one's harder, you know what I mean? Oh, uh, is this a boss? 
I doubt it. There wasn't a save point. I don't think there was a save point in this entire thing. Oh my god. Ah! Oh jeez. Okay. Oh jeez. Oh, we're getting out of here fast. Let's get out of here fast. Yep. Definitely gonna hook some stuff. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. I am not okay with what's happening right now. Like, at all. Oh, jeez. Yeah, no, no, no. Shit. Yeah, one mistake. One mistake will do it. At least I start right there, so it's not a big deal. Quarbel's like, I am immediately out of this. Use a lot of, um, a lot of hooking. We'll be fine. It catches up a little bit when I go too far ahead, but I mean, as long as I don't really stop, I should be fine. Okay, I actually hit him this time. Okay, good. Doing all right. At least these guys are here to help me out. Uh, oh, it slowed me down for a second. Doing okay, doing okay. Get away, guys. Nearing the end here. Doing fine, doing fine. Jeez, all right. Come on, no, no. Oh my god, really? Alright, let's not mess up this time with the extremely easy parts. Okay, good. Should be it? Yeah, we're good. Alright, cool. Jeez, this thing's terrifying. Yeah, let's get back in there, please. Thank you. Cool. Creepy. Alright, well, I'm gonna kill you then. Oh, this is gonna be crazy. Let's see what he does. The one-on-one -on -one fights against... Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, smaller guys like this, like the uh, Phantom General, are way harder to me than... Uh, Oh, interesting. Oh, what is this? Oh, okay. Does this matter yet, though? Oh, okay. Just the lightning borders only in the past or the future. But yeah, one-on-one -on -one fights against smaller enemies like this guy, they're always way harder in my opinion. Jeez, that thing is nuts. Uh, than the bigger bosses. I don't think. Oh, jeez. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, jeez. Yeah, still get some uh, attacks in them while that happens. Okay, let's try to get something over on the wall here this time. Let's see if we can... Ah, it's so hard to avoid it because you got to get away from it, too. Come back down here. Thank you. Um, okay. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a um, first of at least two stage boss. I'm assuming three, but it could be just two. Frig. I'm always gonna hit by that. I don't know how to avoid it yet. Everything else seems to be pretty easy so far, and... Shit, well, I, I stayed there and did nothing to that. I like I, I can hit him while this happens, though. There we go. Okay, good. Almost there. Come on, buddy. Oh, you're doing something big. Oh, God. There we go. Ooh, he's got like long hair. I'm your biggest fan. I love that. Trophy puns are great. But be careful because this guy does have a move that will kill you in a single hit. Wish I filled my life up now that I think about it. I am Mega Dark, the ruler. Hi, Mega Dark. I am life itself. Those who stand in my way shall be erased. Sounds like a very nice guy. So it's just left and right. There's no um, up or down movement. And at first it was like, this seems very easy, Phil. And yeah, this part is very easy, Phil. Just takes a lot of hits. And that was easy. It's this next form that has a crazy-ass beam, and that crazy-ass beam is a one-hit kill. Ha <laughs> not bad. Now try this. Oh, God. Looks awesome, though. Very, very cool. Ah, damn. Was it that? No. Oh, there's, um third form. It's not this one. I mean, obviously still don't get hit by that. You shouldn't, obviously. Ah, shit. Oh, God. That's not good. Well, I might die just because of that, to be honest. That was really dumb of me. Come 
concentrate. Shame you can't like get a health potion or something here. There we go. Alright, there's the last form, and I'm gonna get hit a lot on this last form, so I might die here. Oh well. We'll just load. Alright, let's try this again. Shouldn't be too hard. A lot more HP this time, too. And immediately start lo losing a bunch of it. <laughs> Careful. It's easily telegraphed, of course, but it's just like, it's just when you're not thinking, right? Eh. Oh. Oh, jeez. No, it's these that'll kill you in one hit. My mistake. But fairly easy to dodge, so not a big deal. Still don't want to get hit by anything, though, like I'm, you know, constantly doing right now. We got enough time, thankfully. Ah, that was a really cheeky move, by the way, on their part. To really make that, uh, <laughs> kind of like, what a dick move. It saves by itself, like, come on, guys. Ah, oh, there we go. Now, it's still going, though. I've got two minutes to get through some story. This is Nabstablook. Here comes Nabstablook. We don't want to fight him. We don't want to fight anyone, so we're going to act. Let's flirt with Nabstablook. I just weigh you down. He cries on you. Nabstablook is like a fan favorite. Everyone loves him. Uh, you kind of just need to make him feel better, I guess. You gave Nabstablook a patient smile. Heh. <laughs> Really not feeling up to it right now, sorry. I love that that's the attack. Um, you can't Mercy Knives book right away. He'll do something, basically. I'll just weigh you down. These cry things, these are like weird worms and they come down at you. Very weird. Ah, I got hit. I got hit twice. Um, I don't want to threaten them. I told him in a little joke. Heh <laughs> Damn it. Ah, shit. Eh. I don't want to die already. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Cheering seems to have improved Nathalie's mood again. Can I mercy you again? Er, no, I can't. I'll just try anyways. Mm -hmm. Ah, come on. I gotta survive at least a couple of rounds of this, I guess. Careful. Frank! I use an item. Jeez, already. Monster candy. Tain HP. Only tain HP. I'm fine, thanks. And, okay, good. I can, I can deal with these regular cries. I'm gonna threaten him. He's starting to anger me. Whew, that was better. You give Napster Blood a cruel look. <laughs> Go ahead, do it. Dang. Napster Blood. Careful. There we go. That's better. It says cheering up. He seems to be doing something, so I'm gonna cheer him up some more. Yeah, he wants to show me something. There we go. Let me try. And then cries upwards. I call it Dapper Blook. It makes a little hat. Do you like it? Sure. You're a weird thing, Naps Blook. And then we can mercy him. No, not yet. He just leaves on his own. Oh, he's not crying as much. That's always good. Good for you, Naps Blook. Let's trim up some more. There we go. Oh, God. First boss battle. And, uh, not great. It's, uh, the f so... <laughs> Like I said, there's a way to go through pretty much this entire game without killing anything. And, uh, you can talk to her. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. And, uh, oh damn. You'll notice that, uh, you can't mercy her at all. Like that. She, she just, just won't say anything. Eh, careful. Jeez. Whew. She's not easy, either. Like, you can tell there's, there's stuff there. Uh, but the first time... Shit, ah, I didn't think they'd bounce. Uh, first time this this happened, I thought it was like kind of like Pokemon. Maybe I'd have to hit her a couple times, and then I could mercy her. Uh, the problem with that, though, is uh, <laughs> the problem with that if you eh, ooh nice if you get really close to killing her, all of a sudden your attack goes through uh, through the roof, and you just kill her. And that's what happened to me the first time I played this game. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to this situation. So I was like really worried. I was like, okay, well talking's not going to do anything, and the game just basically told me that. So, you can try to spare and she'll start saying more things, and I did not notice that. Ah, shit, that was bad. Ah, I'm so bad at this. The good news is, though, as you um, start getting hurt, which you're undoubtedly going to, because this is fairly difficult, this part of the game. Um, 
Uh Her attacks start dodging you. You can't, like, get hurt, basically. Attack or run away. Oh, yeah, you can run, too. There you go. But just keep sparing her. What are you proving this way? I didn't notice that she would say other things when try to spare her, so... I didn't realize that the way it was. Fight me or leave, and then... Oh god, that's not... Nope, yep. Oh god. Yeah, her attacks are crazy. It's very powerful. So, but now you can see they can't hurt you. You can actually die in this fight if you purposely go for it. Uh, it's funny, because when you die, she gets a right big surprise look on her face. But yeah, just keep sparing her. Stop looking at me that way. And she doesn't even look at you. Like, like I love that. It's such a cool little mechanic. That, unfortunately, I did not get the first time I played through the game. So you just sit here, just keep sparing her. Fairly easy. Yeah, they don't even come close to you. They just go off the screen. Yeah, so look at that. They'll come right for you and then dodge. Interesting. I know you want to go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Also, if during this, when she's not attacking you, you um, attack her, you'll kill her in a single hit because she lets her guard down. If you want to be truly evil, you can do that. But I'm not feeling evil yet. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. And I could just... I could run if I wanted to. Oh, no, I can't flee anymore. Huh. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. Oh shit, we got Daco! <laughs> it's like a grade three art project. Look at him. Um, let's act, we can check. Let's check him first. Uh, attack 13, defense 7. Easily excited by movement. Hobbies include squirrels. Don't move an inch. Oh, yes, and this is also teaching me that blue objects, if you don't move, you will not get hurt. And that's really important for later. Let's pet him. You pet Doggo! Oh, he likes that. What? I've been pet! And then just move. move. Oh, he's just going crazy. Wow. And that's it. That's all you got. That's all you got to do. Mercy him. 30 gold. Oh, we got a lesser dog. Yay. He's a great enemy, by the way. Uh, you can only pet the lesser dog, and you're going to want to. You barely lifted your hand, and the lesser dog got excited. Watch out for the dog. He likes to jump around like that, and that will damage you. Uh, but you can pet him some more. I can run right now or mercy him, but if you, you pet him, you lightly touch the dog. It's already overexcited. Oh, yeah, don't move. Ah, shit, that was bad. Pet him. You pet the dog. It raises its head up to beat your hand. Ugh. Good. And yeah, every time you pet him, his head gets slightly, slightly taller. It was a good dog. Ah, shit. Damn it, stop attacking me. He's surprisingly good at it, too. Yeah, and it'll go all the way up. Okay, good. There we go. But how 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 high do you think it'll go? You know what I mean? Okay, good. It looks like I don't have to... You have to jump up to pet the dog. Yeah, I don't have to dodge him anymore. That's good. Yeah, you don't even pet it. It gets more excited. There is no way to stop this madness. Lesser dog enters the realm of the clouds, and off he goes. You call the dog, but it's too late. It cannot hear you. But if you keep going, there he is again. You can reach Lesser dog again. <laughs> this game is so weird. You pet Lesser dog, and he'll go all the way down. We won't do that, but yeah, it's fun to just kind of keep going. Plus his tail, I think, gets faster and faster. Lesser dog is so cute. This is uh, Dogi, or Dogami and Dogaressa. Obviously, this is like a mini boss. Uh, you obviously do not want to attack them. You want to mercy them. So, what are we gonna do? We're gonna pet them. They love pets. Dogs are too suspicious for your of your smell. Shit. Okay, so we can't. Oh, careful. Oh god. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, careful. They're giant axes. So they don't like me. Let's roll around a little bit. 
You roll around in the dirt and snow. You smell like a weird puppy. Alright. Oh god. Ah! Okay. I'm almost dead. Actually, that's not good. Can I pet them now? The dogs are too suspicious of my smell. Crap. Okay, well this is easy to avoid for the most part. Ugh. Ah, shit. Ah! Well, I'm gonna die. So let's use, um, some monster candy. Okay. And again. Alright, good. Let's roll around some more. Roll around in the dirt and snow. You smell like a weird puppy. Alright. Do I smell enough like a weird puppy now, though? Uh, let's also re-sniff. The dogs sniff you again. After rolling in the dirt, you smell all right. Okay, cool. Remember that the blue, you don't move and you'll be fine. Um, now can I pet them? You pet dog me Or dog Amy? I don't know. And one of them is upset that I didn't pet the other, so... We'll hurry up and pet them both. Um, no, the other one, the other one. Pet. You pet the dog Ressa. Yay, they're all cute. Oh no, the other one's upset that I stopped petting him and pet the other one. Oh, this is just like real life. Having Mishka and Kloopy, this is exactly what my life is like. Oh good, I can merge them both. And spare. I win. 40 gold. Yeah, this is the greater dog. And he's adorable. It has the best music in the game. I love it. Also, he has a smiley face on his like wrist guard and on a spear, and that's awesome. What are we gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna pet him. Great dog is too far away to pet. Shit, I just pet the air. Oh, that's not good. Ah, shit. Um, all right, well, let's beckon. You call the greater dog. It bounds towards you, flecking slobber into my face. Okay, good, whew. Uh, can I pet him now? Greater dog curls up in your lap as it is pet by you. It gets so comfortable it falls asleep. Great. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. Ah, well, I died. Shit, that was surprising. All right, I've beckoned him and I've pet him. He's sleeping and he's awake. Oh, God, I thought he was gonna do his little sleepy thing again. Um, play with him, I guess? You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Your dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. Oh, that's cute. Guess you're not gonna do your sleeping dog attack anymore. Can I uh, run away now? No, okay. Um. Actually, what does it say? Your dog wants some TLC. All right, uh, let's pet him some more. I don't want to ignore him. That's just sad. As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. You're moving slow, but you still haven't pet enough. I mean, it's telling me right there I haven't pet him enough, so let's keep going. You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over with his leg hanging in the air. Oh. Whew. Whoa. Okay, good. And spare him. Why would you kill the dog again? And here we go. Papyrus blocks the way. Obviously, like every fight in this game, you don't have to fight him. You can mercy him. But it's fun to actually purposely uh, die here, believe it or not. So, oh, hi, Kloopy. Kloopy's downstairs now. Uh, Papyrus, blah, 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 blah. He likes to say, yeah, ha, ha. Yeah, See, he does. So I'm just going to get hit a bunch of times on purpose. Oh, can I get hit? There we go. My, uh, uh, Invincibility time was really good there. Papyrus is trying to hard to look cool, blah, blah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Wow, yeah, the invincibility time goes, is like a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, one more, there we go. And bam. No, oh, come on, one more. You're too weak! I was easily able to capture you! I will now send you to the capture zone. Okay, as Sans call or as Sans calls it, a garage. You're in the doghouse now. <laughs> and the fight. Um, Papyrus blocks the way. If you lose the fight against Papyrus, I believe three times, um, you, but he lets you go. Basically, you don't have to beat Papyrus. Um, that is a way to get through this, but we want to see what the fight is actually like. So Papyrus is too busy fighting to flirt back. I was flirting with him. Let's date later, after I capture you. So, whoops. So, yeah, um, he has his blue attack going. I guess it kind of skipped the whole, like, haha, I have a blue attack. But now we have the blue attack, which means um, I am now um, insult. Too busy fighting to accept your insult. Well, that makes sense. That deserves a toss, but yeah, okay. 
Um, yeah, you press up and you'll jump. And you can kind of jump fairly high, but that's a lot of this fight. This fight actually has like a gravity platformer kind of feel to it. Uh, Papyrus prepares a non-bone attack and spends a minute fixing his mistake. Oh, Papyrus. Um, because we are doing a technically a neutral playthrough, um, but we want to go into the true pacifist route after this, we're not going to obviously fight him. We're just going to go through the fight. Boss fights in uh, pacifist route is pretty much you getting through all their attacks um, before the end of the fight. It's, it's very much endurance. So I rested at the inn which uh, didn't cost me any money. You, you sleep, but then they give you your money back. And uh, I had 30 out of 20 HP, so I've got myself a little bit of a buffer in case I get hit. Remember that blue thing so you can go through as long as you're not moving? So it just kind of keeps getting crazier like this. The pirate's just kind of talking to himself there. He wants to be part of the Royal Guard so badly. Jeez. Yeah, and that's what the boss fights are. Uh, they all have a little gimmick with um, the pirates being shit. Yeah. Oh, wow, I can't believe I pulled... Oh, well, there we go. Uh, Papyrus being that, uh, you know, it's the gravity thing, and they all have little things like that. It's pretty cool. It makes the, the boss fights very memorable. They were all just like bullet hells. It'd be kind of boring. So, whew, that's close. And some of them get fairly long, the attacks, as you can see. The king will trip a hedge in the shape of my smile. I'm sure he will, buddy. I'm sure he will. There we go. I... Do believe <laughs> my brother well well he won't change very much i truly believe that if you're playing this ah, game and you're not super great great at the, sh the the dodging and stuff you really should really try to beat papyrus because having him just let you go after three tries means you're probably not good enough for what's waiting for you afterwards because the game gets much more difficult so uh, papyrus you're having an existential crisis about whether or not people will like you once you become the royal guard but don't worry you're not going to catch me I'm actually doing fairly well. Ah, uh, well, of course, the second I stayed it. Yeah. And the bosses get fairly difficult. Ah, shit. Ooh, oh, I can't believe that worked. Ah, damn. The boss fights get fairly difficult simply because you don't really get more than 20 max HP. Because I'm not going to be killing anything. Uh, okay. Okay. There we go. Whoa. Ah, damn it. Plus, I've got items if I need to use them. Always have items just in case. After you're captured and sent away. Yeah, he's having a conversation. I'm sorry I'm not really reading it, but... Not really super important. Uh, I might use an item after this if I get hit one more time. Uh, who cares? Give up! He's, yeah, he's, he's, he's one... Ah, shit, that was really dumb of me. He's um, wondering what'll happen to me after I get captured. and He's, he's getting worried about me. I like Papyrus because he's like, definitely not a bad guy. Give up or face my special attack. Okay. Okay. Good. Ooh, that was a close one. Yeah, very soon I will use my special attack. Oh, he's just doing this again. Okay, and yeah. There we go. Doing good. Oh, you know what? I'm going to use an item just in case. Um, Some monster candy. That way I'm not using up something that's crazy powerful right now. Not too long and I will use that special attack. Oh, Papyrus, don't worry. Yeah, he's just repeating this. Ooh, ooh. Ah, shit, I can't believe that hit me. It's not doing much damage to me, thankfully. I got that, that armor from last episode, too. This is your last chance for my special attack. Oof. Ba -ba. Behold, my special attack! Well, the dog got your bone. What the heck? That's my special attack. Hey, you stupid dog. Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Poor, poor Papyrus. Oh, well, I'll just use a really cool regular attack. <laughs> Papyrus is getting ready for a regular attack. Love this. Uh, here's an absolutely normal attack. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, that one got me. Oh. Oh. Oh, there's the dog again. Oh, God. Cool. Dude. Skateboard. Oh, jeez. Uh, just hold up. Uh, I believe in myself. <laughs> I love how much it plays around with its own mechanics. There's a lot. Oh, careful. <laughs> yeah, the game plays around with its mechanics a lot, and it's super well done. 
And that's pretty much it. <laughs> well, it's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Let's kill him. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Let's mercy him. And that is your first true boss battle. Then we get a boss, or a mini boss at least. Uh, Mad Dummy. You can't mercy Mad Dummy. You can't run for Mad Dummy. You can't even fight Mad Dummy. So let's act. Let's talk to him. <laughs> you talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. Pitiful, pitiful. I won't read all it says. Basically, it has little, um, little shots that it shoots at you, and you want to try to hit the dummy with it. Like that. <laughs> Ow, you dummies. Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks. Hey, you. Forget I said anything about magic. And that's that's basically it. Um, yeah, no one's happy with this. I'll defeat you and take your soul. No, man. You're not going to be the thing that finally kills me. Believe me. Actually, something did kill me earlier. So. Yeah, just keep doing that. I don't know if each attack um, hits for a specific amount of HP or just you need to go a certain amount of rounds. I have no idea. But that's this kind of mini boss's gimmick. I like it a lot. It's pretty cool. I'll use your soul to cross the barrier. Back in it. It's a cool idea. Plus, this also just gets harder to hit the dummy, obviously, because it's moving around, and the um, the projectiles change up a little bit too. Uh, I'll stand on the window of a fancy store. Okay. Oh, he's already going a little crazier. Oh shit, he's all over there now. Oh good, I still got a hit on him. Blah 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 blah. Then everything I want will be mine. Really? By oh, and there we go. Okay, so we got some kind of weird looking. Ah oh, shit, I wasn't able to get hit there. I wasn't able to, uh, th yeah, you get a little, little missiles come after you. Does that count? Huh? Yeah, I guess that'll avenge my cousin. Okay. Uh, so I don't know if you have to hit him anymore, really, to be honest. Because I'm not getting any hits. I'm forgetting to aim at him. Uh, blah, blah. What was their name again? Yeah, because the, the, the thing's still going, so I don't know if I have to, have to aim or hit him or anything, or I just have to keep going with the conversation. Ah, that didn't hit. That sucks. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Let's try a little harder to hit him. Which way is he going to go? Right here. Oh. There we go. Okay, cool. Futile, futile, futile. Yep. Right over here. Right over here. Come on, that it. Yeah. Perfect. Feel, yeah, okay. It's, it's just going through a loop, which means I pretty much have to hit him. Nice. Oh, now, there we go. Hey, guys! Dummies, dummies, dummies! Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, failures! You're fired! You're all being replaced! <laughs> Just laughs crazy. Now you'll see my true power! Relying on people that aren't garbage! Yeah, that's fair. Uh, now what do we got? Magic missile! Oh yeah, there we go. Now they kind of follow you a bit, but then they kind of keep going their own way like that, and then you can hit the dummy. It's an interesting boss fight, to be honest. Not too hard, either. Oh, shit. Ugh. Nice. Oh, got them all. That was awesome. Oh, shit. Ugh. Not bad. Oh, that was good, too. Again, I don't know if they're doing, like, HP damage, or I just need to hit them at least once per round or something. Final attack. Okay. Oh, yeah, we're getting a little bit of everything here. Shit. Oh, God. Oh, that was that was bad. But still gonna hit him? Good. Okay, good. He danced into a few of those. No way! These guys are even worse than the other guys! Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends. He's got a knife. Oh, God. I've got knives! <laughs> I'm out of knives. But it doesn't matter. You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you. You'll be stuck fighting me. Forever. Forever. FOREVER! Oh god, he's going crazy. Can I get hit if I... Okay, that doesn't hurt me. Oh god. Someone's crying on him. Acid rain? Oh, forget it. I'm out of here. And that's the end of that fight. But who could have saved us? It wasn't Toriel. 
Like the first time someone saved us. It's our friend Naps to Blook. Sorry, I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no, you guys looked like you were having fun. Oh no, I just wanted to say hi. Oh no. Thank you for helping me, Naps to Blook. I love you. On guard. So you're green, um, which is very, very different. We're obviously still not going to attack her. Uh, plead, I guess? You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on. You won't last a second against me. So yeah, that's actually what this fight is. You have a little... You can't move, but you have a little, um... Uh... Little, kind of like little barrier or mirror or whatever. Not bad, then how about this? And you just kind of block. It's a cool idea for a fight, to be honest. It's very, um, almost DDR-like. Blah, 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 doesn't matter what we do. For years, we've dreamed of a happy ending. Boing, bing, bong, bing, bing, boom, bing, bong. Very easy. And now sunlight is just within our reach. But it gets faster, as you can obviously tell. And it becomes a pretty cool fight, to be honest. It gets sort of intense. Play it again, doesn't matter. I won't let you snatch it away from us. Also, great music. I really like it. Enough warming up. Stay- ah, oh, shit. I always, I always make that mistake. So when you're red, you can start moving around again. You can also, um, you can also flee when you're red. Because you can move. So, yeah. Get out of there. Run from her. You can't really win the fight by sparing her. You basically have to run away or kill her. You won't get away from me this time. And basically, that's it. Uh, it's the entire fight. Blah, blah, blah. Boink, boink. And these just get a little bit faster, a little harder. Uh, you're gonna start seeing yellow. Uh, no human has ever made it past Asgore. You're gonna see some yellow, um, shit, that was sucky. Some yellow arrows, and they kind of flip around and go to the opposite side. Killing you now is an act of mercy. Ah, oh, dang. Not fast enough. So stop being so damn resilient. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. She's not, like, crazy strong in the sense that, like, she doesn't do a lot of damage, but you do fight her multiple times, as you can see. Yeah, damn it. And you can't outrun her, obviously. Escape from me from the last time. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Alphas told me humans were determined. This, whoop! See, so kind of just jumps around you like that. You can obviously take the time to um, heal up if you need to, because you just need to last a certain amount of turns. You don't need to really do anything specific. I see now what she meant by that. Oop. But I'm determined too. Yeah, we know. Damn. Determined to end this right now. Boink, bink. Oh, shit. No. That was dumb. Not paying attention. Yeah, I'm gonna heal up. With, uh, let's use the, I almost used the snow piece. That'd be really mean. Unicycle. Oh, it's called a unicycle now. That's cute. I like that. There we go. Ah, shit. I'm so bad at this. Wow. Yeah, I'm doing really poorly. Uh, I should probably use another item. I have played this before on... How do I go page? Next page. Oh, just you go left to right. Um, I've played this on a keyboard more than I've played it on a, on a controller. I find the keyboard actually easier to do this. Like, quick taps left and right and up and down, that kind of thing. I can't believe that hit me. Ugh, come on. Die already, little brat. Yeah, 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 I know. Okay, good. Let's get that out of here. Hopefully that's the last time we'll have to fight her. Because uh, I'm surprised how much damage I'm taking. Welcome to Hotland. Oh, my phone's ringing. <laughs> hey, what's up? I was just thinking. You, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. I think you would make great pals. Let's meet up at her house later. Thanks. Yeah, I think it's a little bit of a bad time, Papyrus. Ah, oh, that counted. Awesome. Hello, Sans. Oh, I wanted to talk to Sans. That was very dumb of me. Stop running away. No. 
You're very big and scary and mean. Oh, I could've just ran. Those are other attacks that we haven't seen very much of. It's because we can move around. You'll notice she's slowing down too. Um, probably because she, ooh, she towers up threateningly. Probably because we're like in a like very hot volcano area. Oh God. I've been defeated, my house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch, all out on both sides. It's the only way I can reg regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got. Undyne is letting you make the first attack. What would happen if I attacked her here? Oh god, I don't even know. Fake attack. You pretend to swing it on down with all your might. Eh. Kind of like a real punch in real life from me would be. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking a full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me. <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid saccharine shtick, but the way you hit me right now, it, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. I have a name. Seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? Oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? Now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. <laughs> Netaton attacks. Oh, poor Alphys. Oh, I guess we'll have time to do this. Jeez. Uh, let's cry. Screaming is against the rules. <laughs> let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? Uh, money, new car, mercy, more questions. Probably, oh, I was going to say more questions. <laughs> you wish. Wrong. The quiz show continues. Screaming is against the rules. Here's your terrific prize! What's the king's full name? Uh, Asgore Dreamer. Correct! What a terrific answer! I feel like, um, Joey from Friends where he's, Let's play bamboozled! <laughs> uh, can't spare him, of course. Enough about you! Let's talk about me! What are robots made of? Uh, hopes and dreams of metal and magic. Too easy for you, huh? Here's another easy one for ya. Oh god. Two trains, train A and train B, simultaneous. Uh, 32,000. Wonderful! Wow, did I actually get it right? <laughs> I do not need to use an item. Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this jar? 53. Damn it. Completely, utterly wrong! Let's play a memory game. What monster is this? It looks like Froggit, but it's Metaton. Why? Because, haha, I remember that. I'm so flattered you remembered. God, how long does this go? But can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? Heck yeah. Great answer! I love it! Here's a simple one. How many letters in the name Metaton? C. Oh! I just noticed Alphys gives you the answers. I always for I forgot about that. Uh, if you look at Alphys, um, she she uses the answers with her hands kind of thing. Time to break out the big guns. In the dating simulation video game Mew Mew Kitty Kissy Cutie, what is Mew Mew's favorite food? <laughs> oh, she's oh, she's just going. No, I can't even read that fast. And she okay, it's snail flavored. It's the only one she wants. It's one of my favorite parts of the game. Okay, it's actually a very powerful message about friendship and. Alphys, 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 you aren't helping our contestant, are you? <laughs> oh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question you'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Dr. Alphys have a crush on? I know who it is. <laughs> See, Alphys, I told you it was obvious. Even the human figured it out. Yes, she scrawls her name in the margins of her notes. She names programming variables after her. I love how she's all scared. I love Alphys. Not scared, embarrassed, I mean. She even writes stories of them together. Sharing a domestic life. Probability of crush, 101%. Margin of error, 1%. How? <laughs> well, well, well. With Dr. Elphus helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. But, but, this was just the pilot episode. 
Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. And off he goes. Uh, you could probably die in that fight. Well, that sucks. Royal Guard attacks, they got him. Full HP. Um, to the second one. Let's clean that armor. Clean RGO2's armor. It's cooling dirt. Uh, it's cooling dirt begins to wash away. <laughs> like team attack, and the other guy's getting warm. It's weird how he attacks now, because he wasn't talking originally. Why can't I get that? <laughs> Give me green. Give me the green. Thank you. Oh, because I'm full life. Uh, let's clean it some more. It's cooling dirt begins to wash away. Oh, careful. Oh, now it's orange, so I better move while it's hitting me. I can't take it. Armor too hot. Ah. He's so ripped. Much better. <laughs> Royal Guard 1 looks bothered by something. Uh, let's whisper to Royal Guard 1. You tell Royal Guard 1 to be honest with his feelings. I... I... Oh, oh, oh. It's not easy to avoid. Dude. I can't... I can't take this anymore. Not like this. Like... O2, I guess, zero two. I like... I like, like you, bro. The way you fight. The way you talk. Which is not very often. I love doing team attacks with you. I love standing here with you, bro. Or bouncing and waving our weapons in sync. <laughs> zero two, I like, want to stay like this forever. Aww. Uh... It's hard to kind of come out with your feelings, man. I, I get it. I mean, uh, psych, gotcha, bro. <laughs> I don't know his voice. <laughs> Zero one. Yeah, bro? Do you want to get some ice cream after this? Sure, dude. <laughs> Aw, looking at each other happily. Let's murder them. No, I'm just joking. That's another one of those betrayal kills you can get. Fun. Great song. Spider Dance is so good. Muffet traps you. Funnily enough, you can skip this entire battle if you buy something from the um, from the uh, the bake sale. But I don't have that much money, obviously. But I can pay 10 G. Uh, struggling, I don't think it does anything right now. But uh, if you pay 10 G, Muffet reduces your attack for this turn. You can kind of do that. Shouldn't have done this yet because it starts out fairly easy. It doesn't look so blue, my dearie. Well. They filled that up with stuff. And now, we're on like a little rail thing. You can only move up these columns, or like rows or whatever. I think purple is a better look on you. <laughs> this is this uh, character's um, gimmick, basically. You're trapped in a strange purple web. And like a little spider helps you out by telling you what the next thing is going to be. So that was a waste of money, because every time it goes up. So, I'm just going to struggle, I guess. You struggle to escape the web. Muffet covers her mouth and giggles at you. Of course she does. Why so pale? You should be proud. So yeah, it's just it's avoiding things. It's actually a pretty cool idea for a boss. It's not too, too hard either, I find. But watch me die, so. Uh, proud that you're going to make a delicious cake. Haha, -ha, yes. This is actually where Kate got to. Um, she wasn't able to beat Muffet. She uh, had a hard time with it. And I, I can understand. It gets chaotic, to say the least. Plus, I think she was very close to, um, like, my health. She didn't want to kill too many people. Though, <laughs> she did kill Papyrus. Uh, she was... Uh, or no, no, she didn't kill... She wanted to kill Papyrus, but she wasn't able to. She actually ended up getting through by, uh... So uh, was gonna be... She was able to, um, get through because she got captured. She probably stopped talking during the attacks. Up next is... What is that? Struggle to escape, blah, 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 nothing happens. You have to survive, I think, like, 17, um, rounds, basically, so... Uh, it's breakfast time, isn't it? Have fun, you two. Oh, yes, this crazy friggin' thing. That attacks us. Easy, 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 easy. So far, easy, good. Oh my god, it's fast. There you are! It starts to attack you this way. It's kind of a cool idea. It's a cool idea for a fight. They really do a good job. I just keep moving upwards. It does get faster, as you can see. Up next, oh, spiders and donuts. So I like how you can see what you're gonna, they're going to do next, because that way you can decide to pay. And you can see it, the pay has actually gone down a little bit. Um, yeah, we'll struggle. When it gets closer to the end, I might start doing that, because why not? But right now, not too, too bad. Let's get there. Ah, shit, come on, Phil. What, what was that? 
Plus, I've, I've got lots of items to um, heal myself, so. A lot of money for your soul, yep. Phew, alright. Okay. All the spiders clap along. Uh, they had such a sweet smile and. Hoo -hoo. Oh shit, cool. Oh yeah, the croissants. <laughs> you get like boomerangs. I love that they utilize the stuff from the, the bake sale as like weaponry. Struggle to escape, blah blah. It's strange, but I swore I saw them in the shadows changing shape. Oop, that was close. Oh, oh, mm. oh, 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 got it. <laughs> uh, and now we got. Actually, this would be a perfect time to pay things if you're gonna have the, the guy attack you and um, chase you for a while. Oh, it's lunchtime, isn't it? I forgot to feed my pet. So these are the longest attacks, so you might as well make them the ones that don't attack you as much. Whew. Rawr! He's cute, though. Oh, he's a cupcake! I never noticed that! Like, legit, I never noticed that he is actually a cupcake. Oh, damn. That was close. Here's the top. Great idea for a fight, though. I really like this. Okay. Uh, next, just regular spider things. And now I have to pay 60 gold. But I'm pretty sure if you go, like, three or four turns with that money, the spider clans can finally be reunited. She's got a whole story that you don't really learn about. Um, shit. Um, I'm pretty sure if you don't... Um, pay, uh, if you struggle for, like, a couple turns in a row, the, the amount you have to pay goes down a little bit. Yeah, you haven't heard? Spiders have been trapped in the ruins for generations. Well, that's true. There was a place in the ruins uh, with spiders. Shit, come on, Phil. I'm gonna use an item. It's croissants next. Um, let's use a... Uh, not the snow peas. <laughs> let's use the nice cream. Have a wonderful day! Even if they uh, go under the door, Snowden's fatal cold is impassable alone. Oh, that makes sense, actually. Shit, why... Uh... There we go. Croissants actually are pretty easy to dodge, so... Uh, tidies up the webs around you. Well, that's very nice. Struggle... Try to escape the web, nothing happens. But with the money from your soul, we'll be able to rent them a heated limo. Really, that's what it's all about. Ah, shit, come on, They do, he does, she does four. Oh, it was all of them together. But, struggle some more. Nothing happened. And with all the leftovers, we could have a nice vacation. Or even build a spider baseball field. Why would you want that? Oh, duh. Okay. <laughs> uh, and now we got the thing. I don't want to pay money. I don't want to lose all my money, just in case. Who scrubbled with that? Just ice scrubble. But enough of that. It's time for dinner, isn't it? So we have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I like how... Oh, God. Okay, whew, Jeez. It's been a long time since I've done this fight. It kind of goes crazy. Oh, God. Why did I start going down? Ah, oh, come on, Phil. You're better than that. No, I... Did that on purpose, basically. Uh, oh, you're still alive? <laughs> oh, my pet. Looks like it's time for dessert. Shit. Oh, I think I did it. Huh, a telegram from the spiders in the ruin. What? They're saying that they saw you, and even if you are stingy, you never heard a single spider. That's true. I could have bought something from there, but I didn't have enough money back then. I think it would have changed a little bit if I had bought something. I'm not sure. Oh my, this has all been a big misunderstanding. I thought you were someone that hated spiders. The person who asked for that soul. They must have went a, uh, met a different human in a striped shirt. Sorry for all the trouble. I'll make it up to you. You can come back here anytime, and for no charge at all. I'll wrap you up and let you play with my pet again. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll spare you now. And you can, of course, kill her, but we're not going to. Did make it through, yay! I won. I only had to use one item, so... All right, here's Menton. Uh, let's yell. You, you yell, nothing happened. This is it, darling, say goodbye. That's my phone, I guess. Is that your phone? You'd better answer it. Hey, this seems bad, but don't worry. There's one last thing I installed on your phone. You see that yellow button? Uh, go to this phone's act menu and press it. All right. You press the yellow button. The phone is resonating with Menton's presence. Oh, that yellow glow. My soul, what did you do to it? <laughs> so yeah, I like how every like boss is a color that changes what you can do. And now, <laughs> it's a spaceship shooter! Because <laughs> of course it is. Oh, this game. 
Oh! Ooh! You've defeated me! How can this be? You were stronger than I thought, etc. Well, what is this? He? Whatever. <laughs> Here we go. Metaton attacks. So this is the actual fight. It does have the same um, yellow heart functionality from, like, before. That we got to see, like, for a split second, so. Oh. I didn't want to attack. What am I doing? Uh, yes, I was the one rearranged. Who rearranged that? I was the one that rearranged the core. I was the one that hired everyone to kill you. That, however, was a short sighted plan. You know what would be a hundred times better? Killing you myself. Move around, shoot him. Beep, beep, beep. Oh god. That worthless pea shooter won't work on me, darling. Don't you understand what acting is? Um, burn. This is probably what you'll do if things continue in this manner. That's. Oh, yep. <laughs> Listen, darling, I've seen you fight. You're weak. If you continue forward, Asgore will take your soul. And with your soul, Asgore will destroy humanity. Oh god. Shooting, shooting, shooting. Good. Uh, let's check on him. Metaton, attack 30, defense 255. Seriously, his metal body is invulnerable. But if I get your soul, I can stop Asgore's plan. I can save humanity from destruction. Oh god. Damn it. Gotta go faster than that. Then, using your soul, I'll cross through the barrier and become the star I've always dreamed of being. How am I at 17? Wow. Does it really take that much damage for me already? I had 30 HP going on this. Hundreds, thousands, no, millions of humans will watch me. Okay, get the yellow part. Careful the bombs. When you shoot them, it makes like a plus sign explosion, like a Bomberman explosion, so you want to get out of there when that happens. Glitz, glamour, I'll finally have it all. So what if a few people have to die? That's show business, baby. Oh, there's my phone. Uh, I can't see what's going on in there, but don't give up, okay? There's one last way to beat Metaton. It's, um, it's... This is a work in progress, so don't judge it too hard. But you know how Metaton always faces forward? That's because there's a switch on his backside. So if you can, uh, you can turn him around, um, and, um, press the switch. He'll be... He'll be... Vulnerable. Well, gotta go! Sounds suspicious. Seems like a good time to turn Metaton around. Uh, turn. You tell Metaton that there's a mirror behind him. Oh, a mirror? Right, I have to look perfect for our grand finale. Uh, I don't see it. Where is it? Click. Yay. Did you just flip my switch? We did it. Metaton EX makes the premiere, or X. Um, so the whole point is you need to get the ratings up to 10,000 before the end of the fight if you don't want to kill Metaton. As I'm talking, my ratings are going down. So let's... Let's boast. You say you aren't going to get hit at all. Ratings gradually increase during Metaton's turn. If you boast, yeah. During Metaton's turn... The, oh, well, I didn't win, so I suck. Uh, I'm doing so bad. Oh, my God. Well, that sucked. Uh, but the good news is, if you eat the face steak... I eat the face steak. I get 700 uh, things for my ratings. So that's kind of what you're supposed to do. It's really weird. Oh god, I'm gonna do so badly. Good thing is if you do die, you can fight Metaton right away without having to go through the whole speech. You can just turn him around right away and then start the fight up. Uh, let's heal turn. You turn and scoff at the audience. They're rooting for your destruction this turn. So if I- oh, that's if I get hit, the, the ratings go up. Well, I don't want that. Oh god. There we go, okay. Gotta calm down. Uh, let's pose instead. You pose dramatically. You can see what I'm getting up there with the drama and whatnot, so... Ah, shit, come on, Phil. You're better at these spaceship shooters than this. I can do it. Let's just pose constantly, because I don't want to get hurt and stuff. Oh, as... Ah, cool. The more I'm hurt, the uh, more my posing does. Who brought a keyboard? This one's an essay question. Oh, what I love most about them, I like legs! That's it. That's right! I get 350 points for that. Legs is the correct answer. You can put a lot of things, and different things will happen, but Legs is the one that will get, like, the most stuff, so... Uh, despite being hurt, blah blah. Alright. Your essay really showed everyone your heart. Why don't I show you mine? Uh... Yeah, this gets fairly difficult. I can see a lot of people getting stuck on this one. Ah, shit, I'm doing so poorly. Yep, I'm doing really bad. 
That is good. Metaton. And I'm gonna use a Glam Burger because you get, as you can see, I get um the the, the brand is what gets the the audience happy, so it's kind of silly. But oh, I'm just warming up. Yeah, I'm doing really really poorly too, to be honest. Like surprisingly poorly. So this might end up badly, but whatever. Not not a big deal. I'm just gonna keep doing this. Oh, I shouldn't have checked. Should have posted. But basically, oh shit. Don't move with blue. Oh, I can shoot that. Oh. Damn it. I'm like learning this as I'm going. It's been so long. So I'm probably not going to win this at all. <laughs> Glam burger. Can you keep up the pace? Alright. Don't move. Don't move. And then shoot before when it's a white one. I am learning. So sue me. It's been forever since I fought Metaton, to be really honest. It's always a fight I always forget about for some reason. Close dramatically. Okay, there we go. Easy enough. Yeah, now we're doing easy stuff. Pose. Things are blowing up. There we go. Much better. Time for our union uh, <laughs> regulated break. Happy break time. Hooray. Nothing happens. Oh, jeez. He's going crazy now. Friggin' hell. You've grown so distant, darling. How about another heart to heart? Yeah, there we go. And then you get to attack him with the heart here. Oh shit. Oh, nice. I dodged that. Can't really shoot that fast. Just kind of a shame. Woo! Nice. Already doing way better. Ah, shit. Oh no, his arms fell off. Yeah, we gotta get him to 100. Or, sorry, 10,000. The ratings. Arms? Who needs arms with legs like these? I'm still gonna win. Oh, rewind. Oh, god. We can go one more couple hits before we, uh, shift. Nope, this might be the end for me. Stay on the left. Okay, good. Now it's just an item. Whew! We got another... We got Starfay. It's the last thing I got that's, like, ratings-based, but at least I've still got a lot of stuff. The show must go on. I need 1,000 more. God damn it. <sighs> Pose. Audience nods. Okay. Well, that's not good. Astro food. So a lot of items. Do you really want humanity to perish? Or do you just believe in yourself that much? Oh, whoops. Oh, shit. Come on, Phil. You're better than that. Pose. Pose dramatically. Well, darling, it's either me or you. But I think we both already know who's gonna win. Witness the true power of humanity's star. Oh, God. Oh. I like how you get ratings as you get hit, which is really funny. Oh, good. Oh, the legs are off. Oh, I'm at 10,000. Nice. Gotta keep going. I don't want it to go down. Despite being hurt, I pose. Ooh, look at these ratings. This is the most viewers I've ever had. <laughs> Definitely. You've reached the viewer call-in milestone. One lucky viewer will have the chance to talk to me before I leave the underground forever. Let's see who calls in first. So I think I won, by the way. So yay, because <laughs> I really didn't think that was going to go well. Hi, you're on TV. What do you have to say on this, our last show? Oh, hi, Metaton. I really liked watching your show. My life is pretty boring, but seeing you on the screen brought excitement to my life, vicariously. I can't tell, but I guess this is the last episode? I'll miss you, Metaton. Oh, I didn't mean to talk so long. Oh, that's an to look. Oh. No, wait, wait. Bleh. They already hung up. I'll take another caller. Metaton, your show made us so happy. Metaton, I don't know what I'll watch without you. Metaton, there's a metaton shaped hole in my metaton shaped heart. Ah, uh, I. I see. Everyone, thank you so much. Darling, perhaps it might be better if I stay here for a while. Humans already have stars and idols, but monsters, they only have me. If I left, the underground would lose its spark. 
I'd leave an aching void that could never be filled. So, I think I'll have to delay my big debut. Besides, you've proven to be very strong. Perhaps even strong enough to pa get past Asgore. I'm sure you'll be able to protect humanity. <laughs> it's all for the best anyway. The truth is, this form's energy consumption is inefficient. In a few moments, I'll run out of battery power. And, well, I'll be alright. Knock em dead, darling. And everyone, thank you. You've been a great audience. A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Alright, here we go. Asgore, finally. And we do not have the ability to spare or run. And, yeah. This is the only fight in the game, really, where you actually do have to fight. First, let's see what we can do. We can act, we can check Asgore. It doesn't really matter, she's gonna tell us if he's very strong. But let's talk to him first. You quietly tell Asgore you don't want to fight him. His hands tremble for a moment. And he's strong, by the way. Talk to him again. You tell Asgore that you don't want to fight him. His breathing gets funny for a moment. So by doing this, I'm kind of... Ah, shit, I'm doing really bad. I'm kind of, um... Like, lowering his attack a little bit. Um... Why is this just pie? I think this is Beastcatch pie. Why does it just say pie? Anyways, eat the pie. You got it. Being in the game from Toriel, you ate the Butterscotch pie. Your HP was maxed out. The smell reminded Asgore of something. Azra's attack down, Azra's defense down. Yeah, definitely do that, because now he's uh, a little bit easier. Ah, damn, I'm still doing that. I can't move it again, that last part there. Uh, let's talk to him one more time. You firmly tell Asgore to stop fighting. Recollection flashes in his eyes. His attack is dropped, his defense dropped again. That's the best thing I can do right now, okay. Uh, oh, okay, phew. Whew. Let's fight him. Probably shouldn't have gotten a decent uh, weapon now that I think about it, because I forgot that I, you do have to fight a little bit. Shit. Shit. That's okay. Just keep going. We can survive for a while, alright? Hopefully. His defense is down and his attack's down, so that's definitely helpful. Oh, that was bad. It's gonna take quite a few hits, though. Yeah, this is where the game really becomes much more of a bullet hell, as you can see. Oh, that was awful. Well, as long as I do around 100 every time. Orange, orange, blue. Orange, orange, blue. Okay, good. Woo! Feel free to use all your items in this fight. This is the last fight where you can really do anything with items, so... Oh, shit, that was stupid for me. Ugh. Ah. I think, like the fight with Toriel, um, well, I mean, you can die, obviously, but... Ooh, he's slowing down, which is nice. That shit, that's bad. Um, I'm pretty sure if you get to 1 HP, he'll stop that turn abruptly. Kind of, like, give you a, a, short, a chance to, to heal, I think. I'm not sure on that. But... Oh, no, I hit the snowman piece! Oh, no! Oh, damn it. Oh, well. Mm, too late. I'll tell you what would happen if I had not done that. You get an extra line at the ending. It's really not that important. But I feel bad. <laughs> Doing okay, though. Blue, blue, blue. Oh, just stand still. Boink, bing, bong. Aha, easy. Shit, I keep hitting too many buttons and losing out on one of those hits. Shit. Oh, that was bad. Whatever. My invincibility time was decent enough. Ah, oh, I did it again! I keep doing about 120 anyway, so it's not really that big a deal. But yeah, he's doing a lot less damage to me, which is great, and that's really what matters. Oof. Fuck. Keep doing it. Oh, good. Blue, blue, blue. Easy. Also, amazing song. This is 
one of my absolute favorite songs in the game. It's a great fight song. Yeah, I should. Well. But we should be fine. I got lots of HP ish. And uh, tons of healing still, so. Oh, he's getting faster. Oh, slowing down a bit there. Oh, fast. Slow. Woo! There we go. Almost there. Yeah, all this time, and you're expected not to fight, and then all of a sudden it's like you have to fight. Ooh, that's close. I don't have a choice. Can't even go to my mercy option. Oh, God. Ooh, ooh, that's not good. Ooh, that was really close. Ooh, heal up. Oh, nice. Get in there. 200, nice. Blue, okay. Oh, well, he's only doing three to me now, which is, like, nothing. Almost there. Ah, shit, that was really dumb. But, should be able to survive. Ah. Heal up next turn if I get hit. Oh, there, we got him. Yeah, his, his defense gets weaker the farther you kind of get to. Uh, so, that is how it is. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was de uh, devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule the, f the surface in peace. Soon the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. Oh my god. I don't think I've ever, like, killed Ascor. Uh, he's just too nice. Yeah, I really like him. So yeah, of course we're going to mercy him. After everything I have done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface? Human, I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best we can. I thought you didn't know where your wife was. <laughs> I mean, I think we can put one-on-one -on -one together and figure out where she is, but... We can sit in the living room, telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. We could be like... Like a family. Which sounds really good, until... That son of a bitch. Ugh, this tore me up the first time. Welcome to the last fight! <laughs> this is the last boss of the game. And it is friggin' terrifying. Simply terrifying. Uh, can't move yet. Ugh. Somehow the game kind of looked awful and bad on purpose. And you saw glimpses of, like, good graphics, and it's, like, weird. Well, <laughs> here we go. That's flowery. Oh my god, that's terrifying. And you can't move around, you can move around anywhere you want. And the fight is very different. And fall safe. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, oh, oh. Jeez. Oh my god. This is a little ridiculous. A little unfair. Oh, fight. Yep. Thank you. Oh my god. 
So, yeah, this is normal, by the way. Uh, you're obviously, like, I only had 20 HP at the beginning. You have, like, a weird amount of, like, HP in this. You're not meant to lose this fight. You can die, but, like, you'll come back and things like that. So it's not, oops, not really that hard to deal with. That's, yeah, I'm just gonna screw it and go to act. <laughs> you can see I should have, I should be dead by now. You called for help. It's more like a story bit right now. There we go. Heal me. Thank you. I think those are band-aids. Or very weird looking watches. So I've healed. Yay! Oh god. It's so weird. <laughs> like, it's, it's clearly meant to just overwhelm you, and that's just kind of fun. Oh. You're brutal, Flowey. Brutal. Let me have a turn. He's like taking off one like HP at a time at this point. Yeah, you just gotta survive to the next little thing, and the souls kinda like, I don't know, they speak out to you or something. I don't really know what they do. That was really dumb. I just stood there and took that. Just kinda wait around for the act button. Look at there. There we go. I called for help. Please help me. Thank you. Awesome. Oh, thumbs up. That's exactly what I needed. Come on, I do want some health. Oh, I didn't even fill myself up. That's not cool. Oh, you can save files and, like, load them. You can save them right there and he loaded it again. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Flowey's out of a dick. Oh, doing okay. That was pretty good, actually. So, six souls. Got two of them so far. Oh, jeez. Oh, I guess we're standing down here. Ballet shoes. I've always thought the idea was, like, you're seeing, like, kind of the personality of whoever the soul belonged to. Oops. Well, whatever. Get to that act. There we go. I call for help. And... Yay! Music notes. Thank you. Uh... Oh, dang. Not gonna make it. Oh, well. Almost healed up. Like I said, you can't really lose this fight. So... It's more like just to be, like, an epic ending. But the fight against Asgore, you can absolutely lose that. Very easily, actually. It's, it's, not a, it's not an easy fight. Also, I'm doing extremely little damage. But you'll notice I'm doing slightly more every single turn. So, yay. Can you not, please? Oh my god. I don't know if I'm gonna make it this uh, thing. You might see a game over. Not a game over, but like... Oh, never mind. Yeah, if you, if you do die, something does happen, but you continue the fight, basically. So. Nightmare, cruelty, ruin, nightmare, death, despair, sadness, ruin, hatred. Oh. Oh, what a save. Just gonna we're gonna go here. There we go. Act. I called for help. Yay. Much better words. Thank you. Damn it, Flowey, stop in the dick. I said stop in the dick. Yeah, the, uh, the moments that you're, you're avoiding don't really last too long, thankfully. Oh yeah, I remember this one. The soul liked cooking, I guess. Where's that act? There you are. Right in the middle. Boop. Oh, it stands there. I don't know if I, I thought I had to catch it. Okay, there we go. Mm-mm, yummy. I don't know what these are. Eggs, maybe? But... Makes my body feel good, so... Ugh, I hate this one. All the flies, it's just gross. And fire, it's not fun. The bombs! Oh, fight. That's what I do this time. Ooh, 20 hole 6, wow. Damn, damn, damn. I remember the first time playing this, because I played this blind, thankfully. I'm glad I was able to. And uh, I remember just being s s terrified of Flowey. This isn't too hard, just avoid where you're gonna get shot. Clearly. Not too bad. Act. Oh, I got it. I call for help, though. There we go. Yes, please shoot me. No, shoot me. Damn it. <laughs> Why was it harder to get shot? Oh, is that all six? Yay. Yay! Help me, six souls of humans past. 
Oh, yes, thank you. Nice and full. <laughs> Time to take Flowey out. Flowey's defense dropped to zero. And he's slow. Look how slow he is. It's more like a real fight now. Like, this is definitely doable. Plus, you get health ups anyways. You gotta get hit, like, 14 times in a row without healing, I think, in order to, like, lose. But like I said, I don't think you can lose. lose. Doing way more damage now. 195, 210, 180, 196, 181, 173. Come on. More. 180. Probably try to actually avoid stuff, though. Everyone gets some heals. Nice, doing good. Yeah, this is way more sensible of a fight. Still getting hurt though a lot. Oh, these are still kind of hard to avoid. A little like Marlboros from uh, Final Fantasy. But at least the fights are coming really fast, so you can kind of point. Halfway there. Such a spectacle fight at this point. See, at this point, I'd have to really try to lose. But, ain't gonna happen. Oh, nice. Found a little safe spot. Oh, not anymore. <laughs> oh, damn, I missed the healing. <coughs> Thank you. Ooh, a lot more damage up here, like 370. 60. It's hard to like pay attention to how much I'm doing in terms of damage. Oh, is that it? Yay! You can go up there, you suck. Oh no! No! This can't be happening! You you <laughs> Well damn. You idiot. Oh god. Ah, no. Stop loading. Ah, Dormammu, I've come to bargain. Oh, so many deaths. But I'm okay. <laughs> Did you really think you could defeat me? I am the god of this world. And you? You are hopeless. Hopeless and alone. Golly, that's right. Your worthless friends can't save you now. Call for help. I dare you. Cry into the darkness. Mommy, Daddy, somebody help! See what good it does you! You can act. You called for help. Can I do anything? Oh, no, I just he just loads me over and over again. But nobody came. Boy, what a shame. Nobody else is gonna get to see you die. Eh, I'm too big to fit through that. Well, uh... Oh, oh it healed me. Nice. Thank you, Flowey. What? How do you... Well, I'll just... Load failed. Sorry, my computer's not very good, so that's probably on me, Flowey. Where are my powers? The souls? What are they doing? No! No! You can't do that! You're supposed to obey me! Stop! Stop it! And then stop. <laughs> Yay, we've been on our tail. I hate you, Flowey. <laughs> I hate you so much. So, we are going for a true pacifist run. The weird part is, is this does not count. You can do mercy if you want to. Mercy Flowey all you want. And you can kill Flowey if you want to. I mercy him the first time through. But it's really satisfying to kill him. It really, really is. If you kill him and start a game over again, he actually doesn't appear uh, at the beginning anymore. Um, you just meet Toriel. He does come back and you fight him as the last boss, obviously. But he's kind of, like, gone from the game. But we've mercyed everyone else. Just for this playthrough, let's mercy him. What are you doing? Do you really think I've learned anything from this? No. 
burying me won't change anything. Killing me is the only way to end this. If you let me live, I'll come back. I'll kill you. I'll kill everyone. I'll kill everyone you love. Imagine killing him now. Betrayal. Why? Why are you being so nice to me? I can't understand. I can't understand. I just can't understand. Flavi ran away. Well, teleported or whatever he does when he just goes into the ground. He has a flower. Drew near. Oh, they have no names. Oh, it's creepy. It's creepy. Um, oh, so creepy. Uh, anyways. You take out your cell phone. You can hear voices through the receiver. Oh, come join the fun. No, I'm good. Oh, God. Um, ah! So, yeah, if you want to see any, like, um, theories on what's happening here, what a lot of the things are, are in this game, um, I would recommend, um, game theories. A lot of people don't seem to like Matt Pat anymore. I don't know what's happened. He used to be super popular. Now he's like, people just seem to hate every theory he comes up with. But I like the Undertale one. It's fun. Um, I don't know what to do. Join, I guess? Oh, so creepy. Um, these specific guys, they really, re uh, I don't like it here. These guys remind me actually of like the way Gygus kind of looks like in Earthbound. I don't know. Just like, I don't know. That's why I think when I see that. Refuse this time. But, I don't know, that's kind of, kind of what I see when I look at these enemies. Oh, wow, I can't believe I dodged all that. Okay, spare. Woo! Oh, creepy. Ah, smells like sweet lemons. Well, better than nothing. Uh, lemon bread. Let's scream. You screamed out, but nobody came. Welcome to my special hell. Oh, God. Oh. Eh, frig. Okay. Uh, uh, it's hum. Give him a familiar tune. Lemon bread's body shakes. Is that a good thing? Oh god. Oh, I don't like this at all. Let's try humming again. See what happens. You hum a familiar tune. Nothing else happened. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, damn. Nope, that sucks. Uh, yeah, let's heal up. Let's take a hot cat. Meow, meow, meow. That sounded exactly the Mario paint meow. Right there. Right here. Ah, oh, shit, it's Ah, uh, come on. Um, let's cry. Cry as loud as you could, but nobody came. But nobody came. Ugh. Oh. oh, that's not too bad if I, you know, pay attention. Unhug. You let lemon bread be. Lemon bread's teeth shake. Okay, just left to right movement. Actually, that's pretty easy. Ah, shit. Well, still got hit, but... Uh... Hear the melody of pulsating flesh. Oh, I don't like it at all. I feel like I got all my items from before Asgore, so that's definitely good. Eh. Okay. Um... What haven't I done? I, I didn't flex yet. I flexed my arm. I seem to remember something. I felt this before. Okay, yeah, that seems good then. Damn it. Ah, shit, how did I get hit there? Oh, good. Flexing did it. Ugh. It's the amalgamate. Oh, it's like the cats and stuff. I'm gonna pet it. Amalgamate is too far away to pet. You just pet the air. Makes sense. Hello, dog. Ah, oh, God. Oh, it's so creepy. It's so creepy. Um, let's uh, beckon it. Call the amalgamate. It bounced towards you, flecking a strange liquid from an, an orifice. Ugh. What the even? Oh god, I might die. Let's uh, eat a butt spy. Oh jeez. Ah oh, jeez. Doing a lot of damage to me. Oh my god. Pet. Pet the amalgamate. It convulses rapidly, then calms down. Ugh. Rest quietly on your lap for a moment. Z. Suddenly, it shoots away and crawls wildly on the walls. Ah, oh, damn it.
I don't have much food left here. Uh, pet it again? You try to pet the amalgamate, but your hand phases through it. It must not want to be pet for now. Damn it, get away from me. Uh, I don't like how it chases you. Uh, play. You throw your weapon into the corner of the room. The amalgamate brings it back to you proudly. You repeat the process a few times. Now amalgamate is very tired. It leans its dripping amorphous body on you. Ugh. Leave me be, dog. Ah, oh, can't spare it yet. Jeez, I'm losing so much food. Oh, nice. Nice avoiding. Good job, Phil. What can I do now? Can I play it with it some more? Too tired to play. Ah, oh, shit. Damn it. Um, ignore, I guess. Try looking away, but it seems to appear everywhere you look. Oh, jeez, that was close. This is hard. Pet it again, now that it's... Yeah, it starts to generate a st stage one happiness froth. Okay, ah, oh, frig. I'm so bad at this one. Pet again. You pet decisively. Oh, it's cats now. You satisfied with all this? Yay! I won. It's so cold. Uh. Let's joke with it. You told a bad pun about snow as it starts to shift. Haha, -ha, I. Okay. Oh, that was easy. Let's joke some more. First changes even more. Well, you know when. when Stuff changes like from last time, you know, you, you're doing something probably right in this game. You completely calm down. You won. Oh, that was easy. Some of these things are terrifying to look at. Jeez. Uh, let's pray. You kneel and pray for safety because this is terrifying. Remember, it's conscious. Good. Remember, Schwabble Wibble, whatever you used to say. Oh, God, what is even? Ah. Uh. Oh, my God. Why did you do this? Already remembered. Okay, so that didn't do anything. Oh, jeez. Toby Fox, what is wrong with you? Okay, then let's, uh... Let's hum. You hum a familiar tune, but no one heard you. Okay, so that doesn't do anything. Ah, jeez, what the hell, man? Mystify? You did something mysterious. Recognize that has more to learn from this world. Okay. Ugh. Now he doesn't even have a head. Okay. Can I win now? No. Uh, it's clean. You wash your hands. Nothing happened. Damn it. Ugh. It's so friggin' creepy. Oh, wow. I can't believe we survived that. Uh, pick on? I don't want to pick on it. It seems to remember something. Oh, something finally gets... Oh, it's like three of them together. So you have to do all three of them to kind of get the monster. It's all the monster like put together. It's really creepy. Okay, good. There we go. Azriel Dreamer. So Azriel, basically Tor uh, Toriel and Nazgur's uh, son, is Flowey, I guess. Oh man. <laughs> also, fun little fact. Oh, it's the end, by the way. Uh, Azriel Dreamer is actually an anagram for. Uh, a serial murder, or sorry, serial murderer. So that's cool. <laughs> it's a fun little extra thing they put in there, which is kind of insane. Oh man, I love it when they do that with the music and the graphics. Suddenly, they're really good. Uh, let's fight him. No, wow, his like names all cool. Uh, what can we do with him? We can hope. We can dream. Let's check him. Azure Dreamer, infinite attack, infinite defense, the absolute god of hyper death. A little much. Oh god. Okay. And the game's gonna go nuts, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Jeez. It's a lengthy attack. Well, damn. Uh, let's hope. You held on to your hopes. You reduced how much damage you'll take this turn. Nice. I don't know what kind of voice to give him. <laughs> you know, I don't care about destroying this world anymore. 
I'm just evil now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but Nah, I got hit a couple times tonight. Ezra calls on Chaos Saber, so it's telling me like what his next ability is or whatever. Dream! You think about why you're here now. You could feel the empty space in your inventory get smaller and smaller. What? Okay. Weird. After I defeat you and gain total control over the timeline, I just want to reset everything. Timeline? Oh god. Yep. Yeah. Oh, whoops. Wrong with it. Shit. Right in the middle? Yep. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> He's got a lot of attacks, and they're pretty crazy. Uh, what does that mean about my items? Oh, wow. I have lots of things called last dreams. Let's use one. Through determination, the dream became true. HP was maxed out. Oh, so I have infinite uh, items then. All your progress, everyone's memories. I'll bring them all back to zero. So, one of the things that, if you've noticed, Flowey knows, obviously you knew this when you fought Flowey as well, in the neutral ending, uh, is that... Um, ow, ow, ow. Sorry. Scratchy. Um, is that Flowey knows how the game works and can save and load your, your files and stuff like kind of, kind of thing. Uh, yeah, um, Azrael kind of has the same deal, because he is Flowey, so. Then we can do everything all over again. Uh, I don't like this. Oh, stars again, yay. It's not too crazy of an attack, but, ah, uh, well. So I still end up getting hit, like, once or twice per attack anyways, so. Uh, Chaos Buster, what's that one? Keep holding on. Damage reduced. Might as well keep doing this. Damage reduced is definitely good. You know what the best part of all this is? You'll do it. Oh god. Nope. 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 Damn. Stay still. Move. Stay still. Move. Ah, shit. Ah, big laser. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use a thing now. The dream came true. My HP was maxed out. And then you'll lose to me again. You're a little crazy, Azrael. Ah, yeah, there we go. Much better. Hope. I kept hoping on. Or holding on. And again. Oh, whoops. Oh, God. Yeah, right in the middle there. <laughs> that was really dumb of me. I'll be fine, though. This is also another fight, by the way, you can't lose. If you do get hit, and again, if you do get hit uh, and die. Ooh, wrong way. Ah, geez. Uh, if you get hit enough and you die, your your heart explodes like you normally do, and then um, it just kind of comes back together because you're so determined. So you, this is like a fun boss fight because you can kind of just have fun and not worry about getting killed. Uh, because you want a happy ending. Yep. Talking right to the player too, which I think is a cool idea. The idea it's like, you know, you keep playing this kind of game until you get the ending that you're satisfied with. And to everyone, that's a kind of, you know, a different thing. So we want that happy ending. Some people play, you know, genocide route because they want that kind of like, just that. I don't know, depressing ending. I don't know because you love your friends. Yes, I do. I do love my friends. Ouch. God damn it, Phil. Nope. Shit, that was really bad. Well, oh, I've got so many last dreams. Though I'm gonna run out if I don't. Um. Oh, because I never give up. I'm gonna lose all my um things if I don't dream some more. Damn it. That, that's a pretty cra Oh, jeez, there's even more to it. Yeah, that's a pretty crazy one. Like, that attack is it's nuts. Isn't that delicious? Your determination, the power that let you get this far. It's gonna be your downfall. But, Azrael, why are you so evil? Just gonna go ahead. Oh, no, I'm all out. Uh, but I've got star phase. Yeah, I should, I should dream next. Now enough messing around. It's time to purge this timeline once and for all. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Nope. I'm good. Jeez. That one hit. Two hits. Oh, wow. That lowers HP to one. Doesn't matter. Even that attack, you're still standing in my way. Wow, you really are something special. Don't get cocky. Don't get cocky, kid. Thanks, Han. Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. Let's see what good your determination against this is against this. Oh. Well, okay, so that's the now real final boss. Because why not, right? Though the music is really awesome. Uh, Azrael blocks the way. Now he's just regular Azrael, it seems. 
Uh, can I? Oh, I can only act. I can't do anything else. Struggle. Oh, that's why. Can't move your body. Haha, <laughs> build my true power. I'm not gonna do a crazy demon voice or anything. Jeez. Ah, oh, no, I died. That's the end of that. Ah, oh, like I said, you can't die. But it refused. Love that. And plus, you're meant to only have one HP at that point anyways, so I think you're just meant to straight up die. Uh, I can feel it. Every time you die, your grip on this world slips away. Every time you die, your friends forget you a little more. Your life will end here, in a world where no one remembers you. Damn. Damn. Oof. So, it's, yeah, I guess you really can't get more uh, HP because I can't move anything. Still, you're hanging on? That's fine. In a few moments, you'll forget everything. That attitude will serve you well in your next life. So yeah, you're meant to die a couple times, I'm assuming. Ooh, there we go, but... There we go. I'm refusing, so you're an asshole. Give him body. Ooh, ha Still? Come on, show me what good your determination is now. Really, this is the same attack over and over again? I guess I'll just sit here and take it most of the time. There's no point in not. Oh, it said the whole world was something. Oh, I can't move my body. Nothing happened. You struggle. Nothing happened. You tried to reach your save file. Nothing happened. You tried again to reach your save file. Nothing happened. Seems saving the game really is impossible. But, maybe, with what little power you have, you can save something else. Oh! You can use an item, too. I can mercy. Dang, I attack. It doesn't matter if you attack. You can't defeat him under normal circumstances. Save! Oh, we can save people! Yay! Let's save Tutorial. Let's have Toriel because she's she's my favorite. No, she's not my favorite, but I, I don't know. She's too nice. <laughs> you reached out to Azrael's soul and called up to your friends. They're in there somewhere, aren't they? Within the depths of Azrael's soul, something's resonating. The lost souls appear. Oh, it's uh, Toriel and uh, and uh, Asgore. Uh, talk hug preference. Preference. You tell the lost soul you prefer butterscotch instead of cinnamon. Somehow she faintly recalls hearing this before. It's for your own good. Forgive me for this. Aw. I love the idea that you kind of fight them a little bit like the way they fought originally, I guess. Hug. You hug the lost soul and tell her that you're going to see her again. Something about this is so familiar to her. No one will leave again. This is my duty. Aw. Ouch. Uh, let's mercy. You refuse to fight the lost soul. Something about this is so familiar to her. Yay. Probably should do something for Asgore, too, I guess. Ooh, nice. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah, doing very little to me, so it doesn't really matter. Mercy stare, or hug, stare. You stare deep into the eyes of the lost soul, even though I can't see the eyes. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. Yay! Your fate is up to you now. You are our future. Damn right. This is the feel-good ending, so it's gotta be like this. Let's, uh, save Sans and Papyrus. In the depths of Azrael's soul, something's resonating. Lost souls appear, yay! No, let's not fight them. I wonder what would happen if you fought them all the time, but I don't think nothing hap or anything happens. Uh, Judgment. Yeah, it's Sans. You told the lost soul you'd think about what you'd done. It seems like it's trying to remember. I must catch her a human! Just give up. I did. Aw, Sans. Ah, damn. You don't get to see a lot of Sans' uh, person. Well, I mean, you get to see a lot of personality, but, like, you don't see a lot of his hidden stuff in a regular playthrough. So, there's, like, more to him, basically. I told the lost soul a bad pun about skeletons. He seems to love it. But the other lost soul seems to hate it. <laughs> then everyone will. Why even try? Aw, poor Sans. That was easy. Uh, let's do something for uh, Papyrus. That's. Oh, a recipe! You asked the lost soul to cook something for you. Lost Soul's trying to hide its joy. We'll never see him again. Aw, oh, come on, Sans, don't be so down. Don't tell me you're having a bad time. It's a crossword. You tell the Lost Soul you think that Jumble is tougher than crosswords. It nods its head, like it knew this without question. <laughs> no, wait, you're my friend. I could never capture you. Nah, I'm rooting for you, kid. You feel something resonating inside of Israel? Let's get Undyne and Alphas, yay! So it's a cute little, like, like, you don't really fight or anything, but it's a cute idea for, like, a boss battle. Uh, fake hit, smile, clash. Yeah, she's gonna like that. She's all about, you know, strength and whatnot. You clash against the lost soul with all your might. She feels your fighting spirit. It's familiar somehow. All humans will die! Oh, right, she's got this kind of thing for her, uh, attack. I always forget that. 
Ah, uh, smile. You gave the lost soul a big smile like you remember she likes to do. For some reason, she sort of wants to smile back. You're a real enemy. Bing, bong, boom, bing, bing, bong, 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 bong. Way easier the keyboard. Ah, damn. <laughs> when I did that with a controller the first time, it was so much, so much harder. You asked the lost soul to teach you how to cook. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. Yay! Well, some humans are okay, I guess. One last one. Alphys. I do like how it's Alphys instead of Metaton. Because, like, Alphys and Metaton are kind of the same in that sense. Oh, she's wearing a dress. Lost soul appeared. No, I don't want to fight. Jeez. Uh, nerd out. There we go. You asked the lost soul what her favorite cartoon is. She could barely hold back from giving you an enormous answer. You hate me, don't you? No, I want to watch anime with you, like we talked about. Shit. There we go. Ah, damn. Ooh, there we go. Uh, quiz. You ask the lost souls for help on a quiz question. She barely holds back from giving you the answer. I've got to keep lying. Yeah, I like how a lot of, um, ask oh, uh, Alpha's story is like her lying to everyone else about what she is, thinking that she... No one would love her for who she is, because that's something that, again, I think a lot of people deal with. Cut lost soul on the phone. She starts to sweat. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. No, that's not true. My friends like me, and I like you too. Yay! All my friends are okay. You feel your friend's souls resonating with Azrael. Save someone else. Strangely, as your friends remembered you, something else began to resonate within the soul, stronger and stronger. It seems that there's still one last person that needs to be saved. But who? Suddenly, you realize. You reach out and call their name. Huh? What are you doing? your friend's soul resonating within Azrael. Aww, so cute. What did you do? What's this feeling? What's happening to me? No, no, I don't need anyone. Jeez, oh my god. Yeah, that's a little, okay, look, I like bullet hells, but that, that was a little much. Stop it! Get away from me! Do you hear me? I'll tear you apart! Ah, that's a little bit easier. Oh, I still got hit. How did I get hit? That's, the heart wasn't even there. Phil, do you know why I'm doing this? Why I keep fighting to keep you around? Oh, hey, cool. It's like Toriel can't come... Can't bring himself to hurt me. I'm doing this because you're special, Phil. You're the only one that understands me. You're the only one who's any fun to play with anymore. It's weird because, like, my character doesn't seem to remember who this person is, so... No. That's not just it. I... I... I'm doing this because I care about you, Phil. I care about you more than anybody else. I'm not ready for this to end. I'm not ready for you to leave. I'm not ready to say goodbye to someone like you again. It's like, what are you talking about? I didn't know you. So please, stop doing this, and just let me win. Well, I only got 1 HP left, so I'm probably dead. Oh, I got 0.9 HP left, 0.5 HP left, 0.1 HP left, 0.01 HP left. Jeez, that's a temper tantrum of an attack. Holy nuts. I must be very determined. Phil. Oh, I was, pro I was holding, uh, I guess, my Windows button by, pay by mistake, and whoops, there we go. <laughs> Sorry. I'm so alone, Phil. I'm so afraid, Phil. Phil, I... I... And we win. I've watched people play these games and you're just like, this is crazy. Like, how are you so good at this? 
Uh, but I do enjoy them. I, I can play them fairly competently for a guy who doesn't spend too, too much time with them. So that's why I'm playing this on normal. They're, like I said, there's hard, there's... I just know that these are like, I don't know, Japanese, like, maidens of some sort. Like, it's like very Shintoism, I guess. I really don't know. Um, during bosses, I pretty much focus the entire time. Uh, because you, you move slower while you focus, and that's actually super important to move precisely. Um, so, that's what I do, basically. This is actually really, really easy. I can get through the first two stages without dying or using a bomb um, pretty easily. You start with like three or four bombs, I don't know, the stars up there, and uh, using a bomb clears the screen. So basically, if you know you're about to die, use a bomb. You'd rather use a bomb than die. You know, nothing's worse than dying and then you still have bombs left, which is gonna happen to me like crazy. Um, I gotta explain all this stuff before the game actually gets difficult because I'm gonna have to concentrate when that happens. Like, this this is easy. This is super, super simple. Um, and it, it's a good way to get introduced to a bullet hell. Like, this is nothing. If you can't handle this boss without relative ease, you should lower your difficulty immediately. Uh, and concentrate on just surviving. And that's what I do, basically. I concentrate on surviving. I do not care about my points in Bullet Hells or arcade games in general. Um, unless someone's, like, specifically challenged me and we're just having a fun time. There we go. It's not about points for me. It's about surviving. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. There we go. So, yeah. It's all about just looking for those openings. And right now, like, the screen... Like, the bullets aren't taking a lot of screen real estate, but they start taking a lot of it later on, so you kind of get used to, like, not moving around too much, because that's what I find a lot of people do, is they move a lot, and you really kind of shouldn't. Once you start learning patterns and stuff, it's about moving deliberately and slowly. You know what I mean? Like, you, you, you want to make small, precise movements like this. Like, this looks really difficult. This is actually fairly easy. Because it's, it's fairly simple. You just see where there's openings, you go to it. There we go. Not too bad. It's when the game gets crazy. Oh, Supernatural Borders. I should explain. I know a little bit about what's happening. Or losing a border uh, to a bullet. Then you get a spell card. I don't know what they do. At all. It's not a usable thing as far as I know. So I know that to unlock some of the like the crazier difficulties, you need to like get 60 spell cards. Uh, not in one playthrough, thank God. But I, I assume that's like getting close to every single uh, you know, phase of a boss of every boss without, like, dying. I'm like, I don't even know how you do that. Like, I'm okay at this beginning of the game uh, because it's not it's not crazy. You'll notice that, like, I love how every boss has, like, um, different gimmicks. Like, this one, I love how, like, the screen erupts a little bit and then the bullets, like, change trajectories. Uh, and right now, the, they're not too crazy. This isn't, like, you know, oh, they're they're following me a little bit, so you move just a little bit. This isn't too, tar too hard. It's, like, man, the fourth and fifth boss and, of course, the sixth boss. Like, their gimmicks are just bonkers. Just bonkers. Um, I think the bullet hell that most people know about are... is Ikaruga. Um, that one got fairly popular in, like, kind of a weird mainstream western way. These games don't do well in the western, you know, audience. Ugh. Fast bullets suck. I'd much rather deal with a lot of slow bullets. Um, I know that for the 360, a fun one was Death Smiles, which was a horizontal one. I am way more used to vertical ones. I know it shouldn't make a difference, but it really does to me. I don't know why, but it just does. Oh, there we go. Like I said, it's all about that small little dot in the middle of my character that matters. So you can hit bullets all you want. You, you'd be surprised at the things you can actually survive. Sometimes when I'm going really fast, you can just survive like a, a bunch of bullets. You're like, damn, how did that work? I really, really like the boss battles, like this, there we go. Alice, Margaret, Troy, they have their names up there, but I can only look at them for a second before the game gets a little too crazy. Uh, now we're getting to the where the game's gonna start getting a little harder. Um, it's perfectly reasonable to have trouble in these areas, but this isn't too bad. Places where bullets can come from, I don't know. I, I love the bosses, though. That's why I play these games. And uh, Cuphead had that same problem. Cuphead's bosses are incredible. Super fun. But their regular levels sucked. And they were, they were, they were pressured to put those in, oh god, I went up. Um, the first boss is like Letty White Rock, and I like that name a lot. That's pretty cool. Try to like, see their names just once so I can kind of get their characters. I don't know what the story is or anything like that uh, at all, but yeah, this is, this is some cool boss stuff here. 
This is the last boss that I'd say is um, doable without me dying. I'm probably still gonna die. Um, I, I rarely, rarely make it to the fourth level without dying, so be prepared. But once, um, the fourth level is like that medium. Fourth level is, is in my opinion, like, is, is the last stage I can handle, like, competently. And then the fifth stage is like, I can get through it, but I'm not gonna, oh, thank god, I'm glad I bombed there. Um, I, I can get through it, but it's not gonna be pretty. And then the sixth is, I, I basically just have to, um, force my way through with bombs while taking a ton of deaths. So you'll see my, my skill gradually deteriorate. This is the last boss, which is like, not too bad. If you're quick with your bombs, by the way, you have like three or four frames or something when you get hit to use a bomb. Um, sometimes that happens with me. I'm pretty sure the one that I just, the bomb I just did, like, you know, 15 seconds ago, that, I think that was the death bomb. Um, you can hear, like, the death sound and you still bomb, then you know you did that. Um, I have no idea if that's like, a, like, who knows, in this game that could be like a tactic to get better points. I have no friggin' clue. How people play these games for points and score, I'll never know how they maintain such a cool head, because this is bonkers. Um, but yeah, no, no, I love these games though. There, there's not a whole lot that I've, I've played. If you know of any that you think are good, or you'd like me to see me play, um, please tell me. Uh, this is the seventh game of the Toho series. There's like 30 games in the series right now, and there's there's so many, and this is the one I know the most, this is the one I played a lot of in college, and is the one I'm, I'm more familiar with, so like, if you guys like this, ugh. yeah, I panic bomb there, um, then, you know, I'll play others, but this is the one that I'm gonna be the best at without having to spend a lot of time really getting into it. Like, I literally got, like, downloaded this today, and played it through, like, maybe three times, so I could, like, spend a couple weeks to get really good at it, I guess, but I don't know. It's... That's not my style, you know? Yeah, I knew that. So those big white orbs um, with the blue centers, weirdly enough, the white parts won't hurt you. Um, it took me a long time to learn that. Actually, pretty good there. Nice. Is that the level? No, okay, we're just at a mid-boss. Lily White. Okay, easy enough. The red ones follow you. Blue ones go all over the place. Ah, here's, here's the bullshit. Here's the bullshit. Mmm, duel. Mmm, duel. Okay, good. The chance I might have gotten out of that, but, you know, I'm not trying to show off right now. I'm trying to survive. This boss is probably my favorite boss, except for the first phase. I hate the first phase because those wispy lines, I don't know how to... I don't... I can't... Mm, I can't predict them. So I kind of tend to panic bomb through them a lot because I don't know if they're going to come for me or not. Uh, I don't like it. Um, after this phase, though, is when I think the boss gets really fun. Difficult. This is, in my opinion, the first difficult boss. Uh, there we go. Okay. Now that we're here... Oh, I love this. The kind of keeping in your corridor thing. And after this next phase, it's going to be three bosses kind of at once. They work together like triplets or something. They're a trio. They're a musical trio. I don't freaking know. See, this is fun. This is... Like, it looks difficult, but it's actually, like, kind of interestingly easy. Not easy, sorry. It's just... I can understand what's happening, and as long as I can understand what's happening, I, I have a better time. I'm like that with, like, Guitar Hero. If I can understand the note charts that are coming towards me, I can play pretty well. It's the second that the notes don't make sense to me, thank God for Supernatural Borders, uh, then that, that's where I start to panic and fall out, especially with the drums. So that's kind of how Bullet Games, Bullet Hells are to me, is that as long as I, like, this I understand what's happening. Shit, <laughs> I say that just as I die. But like I get what's going on. So I can I can maintain composure up to a point. Whew. There we go. It's when the, the patterns I don't understand how it's happening or what's happening. Like this looks crazy, but these are like small batches of bullets that form lines. So I understand that. There we go. Shit. Mmm, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, but I, anyways, I like, um, Ikaruga is definitely the one that I really like. Uh, I'll probably play that on the channel one of these days, but it's not, I don't consider it an indie game. I don't think it's considered an indie game. Shit. Uh, so, oh, wow, I didn't even need a bomb there, and I, I got through it. I think I bombed too late. If I had died, I would have died, if that makes any sense. Um, that's a great one. I, I didn't like Radiant Silver Guns. Maybe the same people, but I didn't like it. Um, pretty much anything by Cave is usually pretty good. Uh, Patch is amazing. 
Uh, there's a couple of them, and I don't remember them. Like, I played a lot of these during high school, or sorry, high school, college, so I don't really remember a lot of them, but the Dome Patch was a fun one. Uh, Death Smiles was okay. It's kind of funny, like, I'm watching, like, I'm watching, like, uh, editing my stuff for, like, like, what's it called? Damn, that dinosaur game. I'm so confused right now. Uh, okay, good. Whew. Yeah, it's a fun boss, which is awesome. I love when Squall does that. It's, like, my favorite thing. Oh, shit. This, oh, what's this character name? I'm not, ah! Well, it's Yomu Konyaku. <laughs> I died, I might as well look. Uh, this character's cool. I like this one a lot. This is just the mid-boss version of her, though, so we're not seeing her real gimmick. Uh, this is a hard boss, though, the, when we get to the end of the level. God, I love this music. We're getting a hint right there. Oh, so she's got, like, a sword, and she, like, slices across the level, and it goes crazy, and she slows time, and then I bomb because I can't get through those parts. Um, that was just the midpoint. Ooh, one up. Oh, thank God. Uh, but this is a very cool boss, but this is extremely difficult. So it starts off kind of the same. Easy enough. That music is really... Like, really gets to my stress, you know what I mean? Eh. Okay, here we go. Getting the crazy shit. Yep, not too... Frig, wow, that came right at me, too. Okay, so... Now that, uh, whatever her name is, you gotta use her sword. She's gonna start... Oh, not yet, not yet. Okay, we're just doing the time stuff. Here we go, the sword. A crazy amount of bolts, and then the time stop. And time to keep going. I find that really hard, because all of a sudden time comes back. <sighs> Shit. Oh, wow, time stopped uh, a lot later than I thought it was going to. I really thought it'd be sooner. Yeah, wow, I'm really putting myself in bad places here. Oh, that's what bombs are for. Ooh, okay. Mm. Sorry, just being quiet. Ah, shit, I thought I could worm my way through here. Alright, she's gonna use her sword now for some crazy stuff. And... Right there, there we go. Now all these sword slashes, this is where the bullets come from. Then we stop time. Oh, it's so cool. Damn it! Phil, use your bombs! Come on. I want to get the sixth level without using continue, please. Yes, okay, good. You do not have infinite continues, by the way. Ugh, come on, really? Oh, well, not, that's not the worst thing in the world if I have to continue. Yeah, I'm just. Uh, might as well use my bombs to get through this. Uh, oh yeah, last phase, get out from the bottom of the screen. Yeah, you have like five continues on that. Anyways, you slash at the bottom of the screen, and now we have bolts coming upwards. Because of course we do. Hmm. Slowly. The middle one's the one that's tracking you, kind of. So just kind of move slowly. Ah, I've just... I've just cornered myself. Oh, I'm doing okay. Yeah, I might as well bomb myself out of the... Out of this. God, this music's so stressful, but it's so good. Oh god, this is the last phase. By far the hardest. I only got one bomb left, I got no lives. Ah. Uh, come on, Phil. Nope. Mm. Oh well, whatever. Oh yeah, three continues. Uh, best thing about continuing though is like all your 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 points go back. That doesn't matter. But those yellow F icons, they they give you full power automatically. So at least you're able to kind of get back in the fight immediately. There we go. All right, that was a poor showing. Is doable than some of the other like regular levels with regular enemies. Oh, you're back. Yo, whatever your name is. This one, she's a bitch, because she does, like, the graphics, like, the animation for the stop time thing, but it doesn't stop time. It's bullshit. I don't know if that's a glitch or they did on purpose. You'll see what I mean. You'll see what I mean. See what I mean? It doesn't actually slow anything. Yeah, damn it. I knew it, too. I knew it. It was coming after me. I was like, I got a bomb, but I didn't. Yeah, just got to bomb through this. Your dad, get away from me. Ooh, extra bomb. There's also a game called Castle Shikigami, which also came on the Wii, but has one of the worst English translations I've ever seen in my life. Uh, ew, wow, I actually didn't need to bomb there. Um, that's why I really don't care if I find the English translation for this game, because 
I don't really care. I do not care about the story in this. Oh, good. I Wow, I can't believe my bomb went out there. Yeah, this gets so difficult. So this is this is past my um, threshold for understanding what's happening. Um, you'll see me panic bomb a lot. Wow, I can't believe I got that far out of that with my border. Uh, but yeah, no, this is this is this is beyond my my skill. This is now I'm just, ah shit. Now I'm just gonna be wasting bombs like crazy because I'm basically just trying to to just just tackle through it like just. Like, there's almost no thought process to me. It's not trying to pay attention. I mean, I'm going to try a little bit. Like, here's not the worst in the world. Great. This music's good. Mm. Oh, border. Didn't even notice. Yeah, good. Not bad. I actually kept my border for that. Like, this makes sense, so far. Oh shit, this big one's following me. Yeah, I corner myself. Bomb! Thank god for bombs! Ah, damn it. Oh! Mm, ah, shit! Come on, I'm gonna die. There we go, okay. There's one that's crazy. Oh, this one's not too bad. It's when they start, like, turning. There we go. Now they're turning towards me, and that gets way more frustrating. Ah, shit. Stop conserving your bombs, Phil. I wish it would, like, slow down for a split second before you die so it would give you an option to use a bomb. But that'd be so... That's, like, like the exact opposite. Ooh of what this game's challenge is trying to do. There we go. So I have a buddy. He's a good guy. We, oh, no, not this one. So those, like, wispy things, they follow you and they'll explode. Other than that, it's actually not that hard. But it's it's to keep track of everything. I think the wispy parts hit... Yeah, the wispy parts kill you, okay. Shit. Um, yeah, I got a buddy. He's a nice guy. But we, we really disagree on a lot of game design stuff. He's uh, one of those Dark Souls guys. Like, he really likes the Dark Souls games. And very much is uh, a fan of, of... Or not a fan, sorry. I'm trying to concentrate. Uh, is very much a, a an advocate of make a game as difficult as possible. The the publisher, or the director, or the designer of the games... God damn it. Uh, shit. Okay, well, two game overs isn't the worst. Uh, should be able to make the game that they want, regardless of difficulty. You shouldn't give like games like Dark Souls an easy mode. And I super understand where he's coming from. I don't necessarily agree with him. I think a designer should be allowed to make the game they want. Absolutely. But like, let's say if they did make a new Dark Souls 4 or whatever, and they added an easy mode, and they said, yeah, we wanted to do this, people would get really pissed off, including him, in my opinion. I think he'd get really angry about it. Friggin', that really took me by surprise. I'm not used to this boss at all. Oh my god, I'm actually... You don't care, right? Ah! Whoa, whoa, that kicked in. Uh, right the right second. Um, but, like, they'd get upset because, like, then you're taking it away from people that, like, the, easy, the hard mode. And I, I get the whole reason why people play hard games. Uh, look at what I'm playing right now. But it's like, oh, if you add an easy mode, you're taking away the victory from the player. I'm like, yeah, but that shouldn't be your concern, in my opinion. Like, this game, for example, is a hard game. But it does come with an easy mode, which... Yes, is actually still fairly difficult. But after you beat a level, you can go in and practice any section of the game you want as much as you want to get as good as you can. The game has learning tools. This isn't actually that bad right now. I mean, it's clearly not easy. Um, but yeah, the game has tools for you to get better. And and I haven't played a lot of Dark Souls games or the Bloodborne games or anything like that. So maybe they have stuff like that too. But like, I don't think accessibility in a difficult game is a bad thing. Question of the day. Do you think games should allow accessibility modes to allow people to play games and enjoy them the way they want? Don't worry, I'm not done this game. There's still more boss, so don't put down that YouTube. <laughs> uh, yeah, this we're just about there though. Um, I'll be able to make this. I this is this is an exact example of I don't understand what's happening. It looks like it wouldn't be that hard to weave through that stuff, but I actually I can't handle this boss. I have to basically just 
go through it with bombs or sacrificing my own life. I can't. This is beyond my comprehension. It shouldn't be. So, that sucks. <laughs> it looks like it wouldn't be all that hard, because again, it's just it's weaving in and out, but for some reason I can't handle this. But yeah, that was the question of the day. Not to ruffle any feathers. I know people get really defensive about what they feel games should be in terms of difficulty, so... Oh, shit, I thought I made that one. It's like, man, I'm learning. The worst part is, though, I, I, wish, you could, I wish you could practice a specific boss phase at any time. But you can't do that in this game. Maybe the later Toho games? I don't know. I don't know. Mm, I just sat there and took it. Yeah, like I said, this is where the game gets way too hard. And it doesn't even look like she has a life bar, so I don't even know if you actually damage it. I think you just gotta survive a certain amount of time. Oh, I did it. That's it. That was Perfect Cherry Blossom. Uh, nobody can cure what ails me. You see, I suffer from everything. Fear, skull pain, skull pain, slimy tears, stub toe, runny nose, nightmares, chronic hype, fear of birds, apathy, and a voice in my head with a very large ego. Hiller, do you honestly believe you can cure me? And here we go, we got an actual, like, last boss. That's actually very reminiscent of, like, a Final Fantasy game. Shit, 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 I ran right into those. Oh my god, Phil, come on, man. One down. Oh, no, never mind. Oh, no, there we go, two down. And at least this is easy now. It gets easier as you kill more things. But yeah, it goes up just like the crazy goddess tower or something from FF6. The runny nose. I like how it looks like they each, everything he said might have actually have like a, a visual design here, which is a really cool idea. There we go. Help your nose, the runny nose there. Oh, and the stubbed toes down there. This is really cute. I actually never noticed that. When I'm editing this, I'll, uh, I'll actually like, pay attention and look at that. That's really cool. Snake. Bird. There's the apath apathetic frog. He's, the ap he's apathy. Yeah, definitely take the goose or the bird or whatever first because he is, he's got that crazy shot. There we go. That makes this a lot easier. I like how the apathetic frog shots are like really stupid. There we go. Oh, the real final. I guess this is the ego with the big, uh, the, uh, the voice in the head with the big ego. <laughs> Look at him, it's so great! This game is such a charming... <laughs> Rage, loss, sorrow, can they really be healed? The pain lets us know we are alive. Your healing is not needed in this world. The music's so good! I love this game, it's so fun. Got some flask left, might as well use them for the final battle. Okay. It's so silly, I love it. Oh, that's awesome. But you can see how this would be probably pretty difficult in the harder difficulties. Oh, that was that was good. My skills, my skills are amazing. Oh, I got him. Ow. So take it. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We did it. I like his little anchor tattoo. Very classic sailor. Man, I regenerate fast. Oh, he's a giant spider. I don't like spiders. And one attack. And two attack. And three attack. And four attack. And five attack. And six attack. Easy enough. There's actually a trophy for beating him in under ten seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like how you don't have to do the text again, which is really nice. Can I get a hit? Nope. Oh, that was close, though. Okay, and stop. Take a hit. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna take another hit there, aren't I? Ah, oh, come on. Yes, one more hit. We're good. There we are. That's much better. Hooray! You can never defeat us. I mean, I don't know, I've defeated two of you so far. Here's two attack for free! Plock, plock. Okay. I forget what I was supposed to be doing here. Okay, good. Oh, just made that too comes again. Can I hit him one more time? No, damn. Uh, no, no, no. Dash it. Oh, I did not know that would go twice. Come on, do something. I don't want to attack if you're just going to avoid me. There we go. Yes. It's all about being careful. Uh, 
Ah, shit. I was hoping I could actually avoid that. But whatever, we got the extra hit, so. Uh, extra hits because of the water thing. Ah, shit. That was done me. And now I'm down here. This is the worst. It's the worst birthday. It's not my birthday. But if it was, it'd be the worst. Ah, shit. No, I'm not, I'm not even gonna try. There we go. Okay, smart. Should still be fine. There we go. Much better. Two more hits. We're good. We're good. And one more after this. And there we go! Could have been a lot worse. Could have been a lot worse. Well, no you're not. So yeah, he's basically two statues. And you gotta attack the, um... The, uh... The eyeballs where they appear. Shit. Uh, I forgot where to be. Eh, nope. I suck. Oh, okay. I forgot how to do this one, to be honest. Ah, shit. Yeah, I really forgot to do this. This is not good. Hide behind here. Good. Okay. Take you out. Leave this here. Okay, yeah. I'm kind of trying to get back in the groove of things here. I'm not doing a very good job on that. Alright, cool. Kind of kind of into the groove now. Ah shit, that's not good. Uh yeah, I'm gonna get ahead of here. Oh wow! Oh the block still took it out. Nice. Actually I'll just leave it. Ah damn, I can't leave it there. Oh well, not a big deal. Not too many hits left though. Come on, can make, can make it there. Yeah, okay, good. Not going amazingly well, but this is gonna be doing I'm gonna be doing a lot worse. Okay, good. And get the spot. Yeah, you gotta be kinda specific. There's probably a lot easier ways to take this guy out, and I just have this specific way to do it. But hey, it works for me. And there we go! Nice. Yeah, it could be a lot worse. I don't know. Ooh, he's a lot, a lot of HP though. But four attacks, that's helpful. And hit him there. Oh, shit. I forgot what I'm supposed to do. Oh, dang. Uh, okay, good. Yeah, I totally forgot what I'm supposed to do against him. Well, if I get, if I can hit him... Oof. Oof. Damn. Come on, hit him. Good. Did, did that count as a hit? I don't even know. Careful. Music's great, though. I gotta be more careful. But yeah, your staff does a lot more damage than your lightning bolts do at this point. Careful here. Okay. Uh, I'm not about to do anything. Shit. That was bad. I'm probably gonna die. If you can get to him before he um, throws his things, he actually he'll disappear before. Uh, yes, there we go. Actually, oh man, that was uh, good. Okay, good. Now where are you gonna be, boy? Okay. Actually, might make this. Okay, cool. Got him. Nice. Oh, that went well. That went really well. That's like my strategy for him. I, I, I feel like it's the best strategy.